Whatever, man. Uh, Goblinizers. Goblinizers. <laughs> Ravioli. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Super Hyper Podcast Off. I'm tired You today. almost got this Super Best Friend cast, didn't you? <laughs> it's not like they use the name anymore. Oh, Ooh. call out for you, Patrick Boyvon. <laughs> call out for you, mispronunciation. <laughs> That's so I don't get copyright strike by Pat. We what? <laughs> Do you think Pat I mean... knows what copyright is? <laughs> yes. Do you what? think that if he did know what it was, he wouldn't copyright you even if you pronounced his name wrong? No, because like maybe I'm not talking about him. Maybe I'm talking about a different person whose name is pronounced how I pronounced well, it that I can't the properly Pat say. It. In, in Montreal. Yeah. I'm talking about him. Yeah. Fuck you, Pat. Not everything's about you. Fuck. Sometimes it's about the I other. I mean, Pat. I've told you guys that I've been directly called out by Pat before on a on an LP, right? Really? Uh, yeah, I, it was. I, I, I forget, told you about uh, the. It, it was. It was back during the Super Mario RPG LP, and it's the one part where he starts talking about a dude who he argued with about Yukiko. That was oh, that was you. Yeah, he's directly talking about me. Nice. That's directly me. My my uh, mention on the channel was a lot nicer than that. I think. Yeah. I feel like me and Pat, like, I feel like me and Pat wouldn't get along. I feel like I would be, arg I would argue with him a lot. Well, even if you, if, if, even if you do get along with Pat, you argue with him. That's, that's what <laughs> yeah, being friends right. with Pat seems to be. Anyway, welcome to the podcast off. I'm your host, this is a Dreamcast. I'm Rose Shrimp, and uh, this week I will be playing the role of trying not to talk too much about how I want the sons of Sparta to spit roast me. Oh, oh no. wow, we're just going straight there, aren't we, Rose, huh? Well, I'm Soraku Fett, and I'm now just thinking about the Green Goblin now. <laughs> yeah, I, <know. laughs> I mean, when aren't you ever not thinking about the Green Goblin? That's true, this is this is known. And, uh, and there's a fourth person here! It's our boy, old... And... Ooh, the Dan okay. Into the gungeon. gungeon. You would fucking pay attention. And oh, anyway. I, I, I was called by, by something earlier, so I just came back in feeling bad. I thought you were gonna just say that you were cold and leave us at that. I was called throw wide the gate. Why isn't? Oh wait, actually, fuck. What a relic. It's not capturing story. everybody's audio. Oh fuck. Oh, uh, it's fucking sweet. Well, I was, was I've been about? recording it, so it's fine. You can uh. Um, Ice ghost. You can um. You yeah, can just, I'm fixing it. Up, uh, you can just like patch up uh, the no. upload version um with my audio later. Don't there worry we about go. it. Okay, everyone's getting caught now. Yata. Yeah, I I saw Yay. I saw Caleb say like say some stuff, but yeah. Anyway, I guess we should just we should start off with introductions again. I'm the Dreamcast. I host. already have a fucking recorded set. All right, whatever. Fuck you. Anyway, uh, today we're talking it's about that's both. That's Raku and all. Uh, today we're talking about Common Rider again, like we always do. Because that's what. This and is. I am tired because I've been up. I was up till seven a.m. Ready Rose, to be disappointed. why don't you, since you literally just spent like 20, 20 minutes watching it, why don't you lead with the, the Kamen Rider stuff? Yeah. Uh... Well, so... We, all... we have okay. two okay. things, <laughs> don't we? Yeah. Did you talk about Blade last time? Yes. Okay. I think yeah. we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, so, um... Fucking Agito, right? Fucking Agito, yeah. like... Sure we talked about Trinity, right? I think so. God, did we? I don't think if, we did it. Uh, okay, oh, well, uh, if we, in cool. case we did it, uh, fucking Geo Trinity, uh, we are finally allowed to know about. Tri we are finally supposed to know about Trinity. Uh, it's fucking dumb and cool and cool and dumb. Uh, but more importantly, Blade is now over. The battle fight has ended. For yeah. now. And how oh, that same vein. So Hajime and Kenzaki are now human. 
We'll talk about Ryuki. Ken you can Zaki, talk about Ryuki later. He, although Kenzaki was supposed to never be a human. Like, Hajime, you mean? Hajime, yeah. Hajime, yeah. Hajime. No, he's human now. Yeah. yeah, he's human now, which is stupid. No, it's fine. It means that Kenzaki and Hajime can go off and get married using those blade rings that the actors the designed. Rings. Well, friggin'. Did their actors um, really design them? No. They were involved oh, with the making of them. Oh, wow. Meanwhile, Amane chan's getting cucked. No, what? she's not getting cucked. She's what? an adult what? now. She's an adult now. And Hajime's a dad! He's a dad! He's like a she's... dad! I don't know. Zed, I haven't seen Zed. Zed choose your words or what correct wise. I don't know. There's one point like... somebody specifically says daddy issues, and I don't know. I can't think she of will, daddy that's issues. That's not implying. That's not implying she that like... she wants to fuck him. She was like ten in the original show. Zed, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't. I just started watching Blade, so I'm like. I'm glad we started talking about this now, so we can expose Zed as a fucking wacko. <laughs> what the shit? I'm tired, and I'm working off like five hours of sleep. Fair. Anyway. Oh. Anyway. That's like that. Anyway, Besides battle fight's that, over. Battle fight's like, over. Oh. Trinity is here. White Woz is gone. He's dead. We only have one Woz now, which is a shame because I really liked talking about how there were two Wazes. Uh, no, Kamen Rider Shinobi like was, you was, the was more high. Alt, wait. Alt, wait. We still have to talk about the main thing, which is Zio. Uh, yeah. and, uh, and Oma Zio says you must Oma, collect the, the You have to buy the last couple toys so it doesn't seem like we And also, this Daiki thing. is working directly for Zio? Oh, Zio, yeah. Well, for some reason. Something, it's unclear. He's too gay. As opposed to Sukasa working for the Time Jackers, which is interesting. He's not even working for the Time Jackers. He's, he's working for Wals. Black Wars, or he knows Black Wars. It's or unclear. he's working for. He's Schwartz working for something? himself. No, the, no, he's not working for Schwartz at all. Waz was he like, knows. I brought he him this no, striker. The bus. He was driving this. Uh, yeah, but he wasn't there for. He wasn't. Schwartz didn't get him to yeah. go there. He never said that. He, he came there on Wals, his own thing. He helped. He helped the time jackers the first time because Woz knew him, so... Yeah, Woz was like, I brought in the striker, Kamen Rider Decayed. He's just as gay as I am. And then Maybe. Tsukasa's like, no, you idiot, that's Daiki. That's Daiki, okay, I'm anyway. not gay, I'm just... Odd. Hey, time jackers, here's my stepdad who won me in the divorce. I'm not gay, I'm just a bitch. <laughs> I'm that bitch. Uh, Daiki won I am Woz that in bitch. the divorce. He is a bitch. B -I -C -T -H. B -I -C -T -H. <laughs> uh, what else was there? Uh, Agito getting well, a lot yeah, of Oh yeah, that's yes. the big thing. Okay. We're talking so, about now, Agito. Now, that's the... that, but anyway, that's played. Uh, now big new thing, Agito. Uh, whoever Where... was in charge of the fucking choreography for, this, for the fights in these past two episodes is a fucking... Mwah. Yes, the shit it's like, good. The shit like a fucking tri uh, fucking ZO2 cutting through the fucking uh, the fucking motorcycle. Yeah. That shit was hype. And also Waz doing the Shinobi attack where it's like he does a whole bunch of Kage Bushins. That's a move. Well, that's the second part. So let, let's 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 take it like a, a little bit where uh, mm -hmm. so the the premise is Well again, Sraku, we've like... been over this. No, but we're gonna talk about the premise at least. We don't yeah, need to recap the episode. Glance. But glance over the premise but uh the premise well, is uh the another the fucking... agito's are everywhere another no... agito is just a fucking virus it's a virus another it's agito like... zombie mode. i, I like the, ex I like the explanation agito. swartz give is that agito is not one single entity yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's a just, thing it's a thing and you it's can a collective it. and how the another agito's Presence turns all the Agitos into another Agitos, but then it they go out and infect more people and turn yeah, them and, turn, and infect non Agitos. Also, we got the Agito. fucking G3 unit. Yeah. So, um, with the yeah, we got G3 Milds. I am a bit upset that we didn't get Hajime, but. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Hikawa, 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 uh, Hikawa. 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 I am. Yeah. He's all busy with the mystery meat. Yeah. I, I just, I would have liked to see Hikawa again. No, that's fair. Um,. Uh, Shuichi there. being back was fucking. Best. We didn't know. Being a chef in France, and then he's like, "Oh, I gotta go back to Japan because some Akito shits happening." Because G three shits. 
He we didn't fucking know Agito about people. the Akito people coming back. That wasn't Lee. You're not supposed to know about Akito. They've been doing a remarkable job keeping like shit tight lipped uh, lately. Yeah. yeah. It's like. Uh, fucking... I'm worried after, about the after Kiva art. They're Zio... just gonna bring back fucking. Yeah, after Zio 2, like, next to nothing major has been, like, leaked or anything, you know? Like, Exercise! I Exercise. have two things Actually, to no. talk about. Like, the Kabuto arc is the one where I'm like, are they lying to us? Is my boy fucking Tendo actually gonna come back or some shit? No, because... Uh, it... Watch, they just say they don't give a shit. We're bringing them back. That's a legal I issue. I don't... That's it's not legal a legal issue, is, is it not... I don't think it's a legal issue. I think it's more of a... That's no, a legal it's, issue. It's, it's in a contract. Is it? Because it's just a blacklist. Yeah. No, yeah, but it might be. It's a. Le it might be a fucking legal thing. I don't a know. Legal I think yeah. black. I think blacklists are just like a kind of like a. Un like. A, well, we none of us know how fucking yeah. Japanese agency yeah. shit works. The point is, is that it's very unlikely for Tendo to Watch come back. Why they actually lied about that? Yeah. Why they actually lied about that? Because he left his agency uh, in such a way that he was then blacklisted from reprising any role he had with that agency for the next 10 years and he left his agency in 2010 so the next year so next year he'll be able to come back to rider but this year apparently not we'll have to wait and see we can't just yeah I have a feeling um, and and uh, and i know but it's just like how we, bad something they, we uh, tossed around that would be really cool is if they had a fucking like a post series b cinema like cross or the, yeah. the another ending Both trilogy or whatever so. Uh, and it was fucking Kabuto and Tendo showed up. And one dumb idea I had of, like, a hypothetical Kabuto arc that I would also like to see in this dumb V-Cinema thing is that Tendo doesn't lose the memory, but somehow the Kabuto Zector disappears, so he just fucking steals the Jiku driver and the Kabuto ride watch. <laughs> he wouldn't do that because it wasn't built for him. He wouldn't do this. He's like, yeah, this is the, he's the, the king of the heaven. Man who walks the path of heaven and rules over all. The thing is, Tendo, everything Tendo is built wouldn't for him. steal shit. It, he it's doesn't fine. have to steal it. It's his. Yeah, it's his. his. It's his power. He puts on the raptor sunglasses it's and his says, power. This is mine Zio's now. just borrowing it. Yeah. It's nah, his. I'm um, sorry, but Tendo isn't that petty. It's gonna be like, nah, this is Zed... my watch Kabuto. I watched Kabuto and everything can be everything Tendo went to absurd lengths to prove a very minor but point everything in an argument. Well, the thing is, in the end, he was always right. Yeah, and he'd yeah. be right to do this as well. He wouldn't be, because Zio he is Zio. No, uh, point is... We don't know is... how he's going to be after the end of the show. Guys, the point is, is that Agito defeated K-Pop. He did. Yes, okay, so we... we Please let me explain. A... Let yeah, Rose we should go on a small tangent so, about this. The Agito episode, the Agito arc, is the second arc of Zio to use an insert song from its show, because the guy mark actually... The original did show, that. yeah. However... At the Agito arc, also used right time Ryuki, yeah. Well, that's not. That's yeah. Zio. Yeah. Um, uh, so the Agito arc used "Believe Yourself" from Agito, and it, it was fucking, fucking great. great. Too. Yeah, it's the it best because it's like awesome. Believe yourself. Yeah. And yeah, it was it's so. Like... It was so it's, awesome it's... that "Believe Yourself." started trending on Twitter because from both Japanese and English posters because it's, it's the title is in English so even the Japanese tweets about it would be English. picking that up. Yeah, it would still However, have to work, believe yourself. BTS got... fans or like, BTS fans the fools trending? that they are for assumed that a blank yourself name would have to be BTS related because of the names of BTS albums. So they thought this was trending because of there was BTS news. And then they immediately clicked on it and found out it wasn't. So there were a ton of tweets of them going, ah, why is this trending? Oh, what is this? And uh, then my favorite one, right my, wait, my favorite one of those tweets is somebody saying, uh, uh, while we trend, believe yourself out of boredom. It's like you didn't. You did it. We did. Rider um, fans did. That. Rider fan. We did that. That's you guys our... just. You guys just ab accidentally helped it. Yeah. Shh. Silence, Karen. 
Your we BTS doesn't you. matter to me. My we BTS matters more. They pop to success. <laughs> to trending. Agito paved the way. Agito paved the way. Agito, I can't believe Agito himself said no, oh, no K-pop rights. Choichi himself said... That shit has said... not aged that day. It has aged a little bit. There is a bit of wear and tear. So the, okay, the moral of the blade. story oh, yeah, is if you believe... Yeah. The moral of the story is if you believe yourself, you too can defeat K-pop. Uh, uh, one of the Agito gods came to God and said, K-pop fans have no rights. Yeah, it was raw. Yeah, it was a weird part of the episode because that just seemed out of nowhere during the fight. Where the Agito god just came down and said that. Yeah, uh... Yeah, yeah. I was like, fine with it, but I was like... Was EY, was EYing the two trinities together and then silence right shoulder was like really good. Again, my favorite yeah. thing is he, this must be well, cause playing. Remember, well, because remember, he EY'd it and then Believe Yourself starts playing. Yeah! Well, no, af so after after Sogo said enough, let's just do this. Yeah, there's like, Sogo's like, enough, it's time to, let, let's go. Just, let's make then, this bread. And, and... They're all standing there in the fucking script, Trinity okay? mind no. skit, in the in the Trinity mind cockpit, and believe yourself starts playing. Again, it just because the first time I watched it, I didn't notice, but then I just I just like I was I saw the original version of Believe Yourself in the first episode where Agito just shows up with the light, and yeah, and the and I just saw I was like oh I wish they did the thing with the head the head thingy split open. But then I resaw the fucking fight from Zio, and I was like, "Oh my god, they did!" Yeah, <laughs> the little head they things did. like split open. Oh, do you mean like his his crest? Yeah, like his horn crest. His horns. That, yeah. that, that he always does that. Because, I know, like, but I didn't notice it the first time because it was like it doesn't have the usual sound of it of the. Oh, ching, the. Ching. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I didn't but yeah, notice no, it. They do that every time because yeah, that's how Agito does his finish. I, again, I know, but again, I just didn't notice it the first time, and I was like, "Oh, that's a disappointment that I didn't do it." But and then I, I always saw like it again. That, I always, and I always like that in fucking Storm and Flame, the fucking lance, uh, the, the, the fucking spear and the sword also do it. <laughs> yeah. So I got a question for you guys based what? on this episode. What the fuck do you guys think Sukiyomi is? I don't have yeah, no idea. Okay, so I was really hoping that she is an Agito. <laughs> yeah, I was also too. That's not what that. She's that's the really not what that Agito no. from yeah, the future who's a child yeah. of a hero. I I'm kind of um like some people are saying she's Omazio's daughter. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't believe that. that anyone's person. daughter, I think she's Schwartz's daughter. Mm, I don't know about Maybe? that either. But I think no, cause Schwartz can naturally do the time stop, right? Yeah, but yeah, he's but also like, Schwartz who says is something this about... girl? Yeah, he's like, then we must be cut from the same cloth. Like, his dialogue is kind of... He doesn't seem to quite know who she is, but he has suspicions because of what she can do and shit. Yeah. Mm. She she apparently has the strongest time stop. And because even, than she even can even stop is. warts. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Schwartz gave... Schwartz, Schwartz, Schwartz gave... Schwartz gave... Yeah, he gave them their time stops, but he didn't give Tsukiyomi a time stop because that's what Waz was talking to him about. So it's like, what the fuck is she? You know? What the fuck is she, and why is hers powerful enough to stop me? Yeah, to the point where he can only just Jotaro Joe his eyes. It's like I no. don't want I I really don't want her to be Omazio's daughter, me but I feel like it's gonna be that. I, I also want to know what she Omazio's whispered. Daughter. Same. Because I saw somebody say, yeah. I, I love you, but I don't know. Yeah. It's it was like, still- we were, we were still on the um, debate on what the fuck is Sukiyomi, because we first thought she was an Orphanok, and then now she's- Well, that, we child. thought she was an Orphanok in, like, episode we, one through three. Yeah, we, we did! Wanted, that would've been we cool! We just wanted her to be an Orphanok, because she had a Fies phone. Yeah, we, we wanted her to be an Orphanok! Really early we thing. wanted her to be an Orphanok one! Because of the fight phone and two, so she'd have something to fucking do during fight scenes. And even with the time stop, I feel like That's she's not going to have anything to do. I hope I hope she gets more to do because I, I actually hope she, she becomes a writer. Like in terms of in terms of the usual female writers, she gets a lot more to do. If I'll be honest, of she the usual person who becomes a female writer, you mean? No, I'm saying even the female heroes, like 
Oh, Even yeah. the non-writer ones. Yeah. Like, like uh, she actually like fights. Poppy or Nico. Yeah. 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 Like she, she has, has gun like and fight. She has gun. And now she has time stop, which she can use in conjunction with gun. <laughs> Which she will probably not use as much as she should, because even when there's a char main character with that kind of time ability, they don't use it enough. Just time stop everything. everything. But no, because <laughs> only villains, only villains use. That's um, only villains do that. That's cheating. It's not fair. Even though we have the literal like king of time as our main character, I guess he's not. The and also, uh, has it ever been in plot? shown that Omazeo can stop time? Like, I know he could rewind it. That's yeah, a good question. Do not, okay, do you not remember from, like, the first episode, there's, like, that whole army, like, charging at him, and he just holds out his hand, and, and they, they all explode. stop. No, no, he holds out his hand, they stop, then he makes them explode. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're yeah, right, because right. he gives, because he says shit before he does it. Yeah, yeah right. he's like, you can never defeat me because I was born to be king. Then he fucking thanos them. Yeah. I guess Tsukiyomi is Omazeo's daughter until proven otherwise. I hope not. Same. That would make it, like, weird. I know it would make it weird, I don't want it either, but it seems like that's where they're gonna go with it. I hate it. I hate but also I don't... because I still, I, I still very much like that old theory that we came up with of Gates being Omazeo's son or something. And that one becomes less and less... It that becomes one's far like... less plausible as time goes on. Yeah, yeah unfortunately. Um, hey, hey, Omazeo, I came from your. Oh! I feel like I feel like in the end, the 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 tissue that's pulling this all together is our boy Waz. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. he seems to like Waz? know everything and nothing at the same time. It. It's yeah. really. This really is decade two because the story is kind of all over the place because, and, like, and, like, and kind Waz, of being written Waz as you watch it. Waz seems to know everything about Omazeo. He has the future in the palm of his hand. But he doesn't but know who the fuck Tsukiyomi is. He's like, uh, I don't know who Tsukiyomi is. She just kind of showed up one day and we called her so... Tsukiyomi. I got a question for you guys. What? Speaking of, Another one? Speaking of Zio being written by the sea to its pants. Why was another Kikai just some weird wood bug thing? Because because it's of the opposite robots. of metal. Yeah, because it, yeah, it. Yeah, but why wasn't it just a another another rider ride watch? Well, in the end, it's it's like I shut up. <laughs> it was Rose, cool. exactly. Kikai is we're not like supposed to know pair. too much about Kikai like on the grounds that Kikai can literally probably win a lot of also, fights because it can possess people. Yeah, because he used, uh, Waz used Kikai in the newest episode, and I instantly think, can't you just control all these odd people with your Kikai powers? No, but Black Waz wouldn't do that. Why not? That seems very I, helpful. I, it would have been really fucking cool it if Black been, Waz did that in the Agito fight. It would have been very helpful if he took of control of this ar if he just... army. But they, he turns them into, like, robots, so would he be able to turn them back? I don't... I mean, yeah, those guys those? seem to turn back at the end. Hmm. Again, it's not very clear. Nothing in Zio is fucking clear. It's like, I don't know what's happening, and I feel like I'm on crazy We know case. everything and yet nothing. Here's the thing. Zio is clearly not being written well, but it is fucking no, the, entertaining. It's, the thing is, it's not being, being written by any one person at all. Yeah, it's, it's not. There's it's so like many a different collab. writers. Hey, hey, no hey, way. hey, Toei, Toei, you know who you should get to write next writer season? Get Kobayashi back, please. You know who you should get to write the next writer season? One person. <laughs> well, I, I understand why they're doing so many people. Like, they've yeah, even no, made fun I, of it, I, I like, know. Yeah. It's, the, it's the exact same thing with Decade, that, like, Decade was written. But, like, it does in the end of, like, the overarching plot gets messy. Except that... Decade was planned to have an overarching plot and then the original writer left halfway through while Zio is just like this. Zio is yeah. just like this because, like, there'll be one writer who's like, oh yeah, Tsukiyomi wants to really kill Sogo now because he's on with Zio. But then the next writer will be like, nah. Yeah. They're cool now. Um, Gage, Gage just fucking hates Sogo, but now he, like, Best tolerates friend. him. Now they're friends, but now he hates him again. That's my friend. 
Hmm. Yeah, um, so anyway, after that, we get in a fucking Hibiki arc, we're getting, which is great. We're getting, we're getting two arcs of, like, I'm not sure if these will be good or not, because then right afterwards, we're getting Kiva. Yeah, we're getting Kiva, Kiva written, written by Inoue. Once again, by the man, the myth, the legend, Toshiki Inoue. It which is... I told you guys when Zio started, I wanted one arc written by Inoue because it would and be it objectively the, the funniest. It's going to be the Kiva arc, though. Which it means was Dark yeah. Kitchen it... 2. We don't it even was, know. No, the thing is, be... it'll be Kiva it... 2. It'll be it melodramatic. Only ever and... going to be... Uh, or no, uh, no, we're getting Hibiki then Kabuto. No, we're not. No. Yeah, we... Hibiki, Kiva, they've announced. It's in the it's episode thing. Oh, Kabuto's probably uh, after Terabi Kun already came out. Oh, okay. All right. Kabuto's well, probably after on. that. Okay. Uh, we think Blah, we're not. Well, we they do have. Oh, I've already seen. We've already seen filming of like, tr of like Kick and Punch Upper. Yeah, well, yeah. Kick and Punch Upper are back. By the way, that's the thing that's happening. Yeah. Yes. The original uh, Hell Bros and not the Heck. Not the Heck Bros. Yeah. Yeah. Not, like, the, oh, not the lame the en engine Rimokan Heck Bros. Where the no, hell, these are bro? the real bros who walk into the darkness. And yeah, it's just like it, the Kiva arc's gonna be wild because we got all the arms monsters light. again. Yes, we got the werewolf, we got the fucking fish man, we got the Frankenstein man, and we got Batman who looks like who looks like the king vampire. I fucking hate them so much. I'm sure I they won't. I'm the sure they monsters won't talk, so bros. I'm sure they won't talk. I I, I hope you they don't just, fucking talk. You just hate. You just hate that no. they fucking have a whole species of uh, no. Frankenstein no. monsters. No, I do, that's not it. That's the not thing, it. No, she I hates hate it because they're, they're fucking creepazoids. One, they're creepazoids. Two, they're basically the imagined but without, without any charm at all. Yeah, it's like it's like again. We what made it probably really weird. The when werewolf they man's them. entire character is: I want to rape this woman. Yeah, and then the other two I are want like this woman to bear my children. Yeah, and then to revive and my then species. Fish dude is, is I'm, I'm a child. And I, I'm a I'm, Shoda. I am a child, and I'm like Ryutaro's, but but not, not as but not as fun. And I also uh, want to impregnate this. And woman. I also have a gun. Yeah, and then there's the Frankenstein's monster guy is, who I I am I Frankenstein. Dare, I dare any of you. To give me a single personality trait that he has. He's without looking it up. Stupid. He's, he gets uh, he gets angry amazing. at things. Oh my god! I don't died. Think, no, I don't think oh, that was. It's a, dead. I don't think and that was a character trait. We're back to trait. a tree man. I don't think that was a character trait of him. I don't think he got mad. I think his whole thing though was a big stoic dude. Yeah, like, but oh. he very frequently just fucking screamed and broke things. Did he? The thing yeah. is, Kiva's so forgettable. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, I'm... The thing is, you could tell me a fact about Kiva, and I would most likely believe you, and I watched it. He, um, he turns did into you a know dragon. That in, did, did you know that in Kiva, uh, fucking Otoya, Otoya just, uh, just whips his dick out and helicopters it at one point? You think, you see, that is completely in character. Yeah. That is like 100% in character. Did, did you... Did, did you watch Kiva Soraku? I was going to I've say... Wa I've watched like maybe a little less than halfway through through it. I was gonna say some made up Kiva shit, but like I couldn't actually think of anything that did actually happen in Kiva. The, thing, the worst part is that it really is Dead O2, but worse. Yeah, it's just Dead O2, but Den worse, because they Den were like, hey, like, Dead O was a Den success. No Wataru is just... Ryotaro, but without any of the things that make Ryotaro cool. The arms monsters, as I said, are just the imagined wealth charm. Kiva has time travel in it and like a time. The fuck it, uh, that time door is so fucking stupid. Just because, just because they have to have Denos things, they want to have time travel. It take the one of the main bases a fucking cafe with a w woman that everyone else fawns over. Yeah. That for no reason because she's not that enjoyable of a character. She's you no, know, it's because she's so fertile for the monsters. And she's no, what the fuck? What the fuck? That entire thing. We you know, know Inoue is a weird, creepy, 
it's sex like man. it also builds up to this whole thing where in the end the women don't matter because like they always get their ass kicked yeah even like, though they showcase them being cool like more yeah, like, times then they yeah. just let them get their asses kicked they always get their ass kicked and then kiva just has to save the day Nago is even weird and antagonistic like Yuto. He's just not he fun. Doesn't, he, and he like doesn't he, have a Deneb. He doesn't have a Deneb. He, it's just like, no, actually, t it's like it. they they have Nago be this fucking ridiculous dude, but then they, they're just like, but you have to still take him seriously, though, and I'm, I can't. I can't, I can't take Nago take seriously. Take seriously, man. You're just awful. Nago's character only functions as comedic relief, but he is not just used as comedic relief, so he doesn't work. And he's the fucking main present user of Ixa. It's terrible. Yeah, it's it's weird because like the it, show should have just been. It should have had. And it should have just been the eighty six. It half. really should have been, but like in like modern day, because like yeah. if it like if it was an eighty six, people wouldn't care. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, even though I would have, I love the fact that it's an 86, but to be fair, most of the fact it's an 86 doesn't really matter. God, I fucking... Anyway, I hate Kiva, but I'm looking Kiva. forward to the Kiva arc, Same. because I think it's gonna be some Ugh. fucking stupid Also, bullshit. Sogo's gonna fuck? Yeah, Sogo fucks. Sogo Not literally, but we mean girlfriend one in... of the summaries says Sogo's first love appears. Now, whether that means that he's going to fall in love for the first time in that arc, or whether it's like some girl he fell in love with in middle school or whatever, I'm not sure. But Sogo fucks. Ah, uh, yes, that's the love of my life. Hey, girl, oh, so, you ever uh, had... Uh, like... uh, Sogo, that's a crown. I know, it's beautiful, isn't it? Hey, hey, hey girl, you... you... You want some prima nocta? No, oh, it's like it's like. Oh my god, I love her so much. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. Uh, Sogo, that's the queen of England. I know, but if I marry her, I'll become a king instantly. No, Sogo, that's not how that works. Yes, that's it is. Not how it works, Sogo. No, Sogo, Sogo you become a prince. No, if I marry the queen of England. Sogo, th that's not. No, that's how, that is how it works, isn't it? If you marry a queen, you become a king. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think that. I, I, we need to we need to double check. I'm pretty I mean, sure. What, only I'm... one of only one of them is the actual monarch of the country, though, and it's already the fucking queen. So. I feel like you should become a. a you, I don't know. I the... feel like I feel. Like... I don't know how for someone who lives in a country that has a, mo yeah, no, a monarchy. A monarch. I don't know how it works. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you had monarchy, but a monarchy none. I feel yeah. like you, you're, like, technically a king, but you don't have any power because you're not the he, actual monarch. The thing is, he doesn't care about the power. He just wants no, the he title does. of king. No, he just he wants the title of king. He does care. care. That's explicitly why he wants to be king, Zed. I don't know. It feels like he just it's so he can. No, it's so he can protect people as king because he has power, Zed. I don't know. Sometimes you'd be but like, I just want to be king for the lols. Zeo might be poorly written, but Sogo's reason for being king doesn't change on a dime. I just he has a pretty there's that solid one part reason. in the new episode where where Mana calls or uh, no Shoichi calls Mana and then Mana's like, Well there is this weird kid saying he wants to be king looking for you and Shoichi's well, yeah. just like a king? He does yeah. want he does want to be king, but he has the reason for it. No, I know. It's just funny of how Shoichi reacts of yeah. a king? What? what? And then he gives him the Agito right away. He's like, you know, I've always wanted to meet a king person. Aww. Yeah. Anyway, I'm pretty sure the Kiva arc is going to be some wild bullshit, so I'm excited for uh, it anyway. One thing, that came it up, no way. one thing that came up from the newest episode of uh, of Zio was the fact that if you put a ride watch inside of another rider, they just become the rider. Yeah, a, a normal ride watch inside of a yeah, a normal ride watch. Yeah. yeah, which is uh, I wonder if they'll not... ever use it coming again. Probably not. Or like in the hey! what? And that also uh... the original rider can just activate the ride watch and get their power back. Yeah. So I got a question. Um. So do you think when the another Agito was defeated, do you think everyone who got turned into another Agito just turned human again, or did yeah. they get turned into Agitos even if they weren't initially? No, I think they were just 
they just turned human because none of them were Unless they were Agitos. an Agito and they probably got turned back into an Agito. Well, no, I think they're like Shoichi's the only Agito left. No, that would be no. fucked. That would be fucked. I don't think that. Because isn't an Agito, wasn't all the people, weren't all the Agitos on that ship? Uh, yeah, but some of them are still alive by the end of the show. Were they? Yeah. Also, Agitos are just a thing that kind of happens from time to time throughout. Oh, I thought human they were history. like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then yeah. Then yeah. Maybe some of them were Agitos and some of them just were like just like any time Agito that then. an Agito, just like they any time an themselves. Agito is needed, Agitos will start being born. Well, Agitos aren't needed right now, so yeah. Yeah. We got so the. Any we got Agitos the only that are one around really. are probably left over. All right, yeah. guys. I'm he okay. Because Agito's, you remember I'm there, there was out. there was one episode of Agito where fucking a fetus was an Agito. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Also, <laughs> yeah. isn't Mana technically an Agito? Uh, I d um, I don't. Because doesn't she have like future sight or some shit? Our Agito um expert is not here right now. Yeah, if if only Sano were here, shit. Hang on. Again, I do feel. I think. I think. I remember Mana having some ability. Mm. Fact but checking will ruin this podcast. Facts, yeah, anyway, moving on. We're done with Zio for today. We talked about how the Kiva arc will just crash and burn. Because it's another. Uh, yeah, uh, but it'll be. No, I'm not saying it'll crash and burn. I'm saying it will be highly entertaining. Because it'll be that in no way type of entertaining. Yeah, it'll be the in no way type of entertaining. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let actually, Ult take the entire next actually fucking. Genuinely funny, like the dark kitchen arc. Yeah. I'm gonna but let. Anyway, I'm gonna let Ult take the entire next. Of in no way. I'm gonna let. Ult just take over the entire. Oh, yeah. we didn't, we didn't, we didn't finish talking about uh, did we, we, uh, what last podcast Ryuki wasn't finished. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, right of time, Ryuki. Oh, take it away. Oh, uh, okay. Because then I'll, I'll Redder, talk about the next thing. Right of time, Ryuki, is an interesting ride. Because it started you kinda, off You're gonna need pretty... to speak more into the mic. Okay. Right at time, Ryuki. It was a very interesting ride in terms of how they had the premise um, and how they went about um, bringing back all like all the suits got uh, got all the love they needed. Like we all saw the suits in action, which is great, except for Femme, which um, she's pregnant, and they probably were like, if we're gonna bring Femme back, we're gonna bring her back. We have to bring her like she is Femme. It was like, we, but she's pregnant, so let's replace her out with Abyss. And it's like, yeah, and that Abyss is made canon now. Yeah, like a lot of this, like it's like, yeah, a lot of shit. Like this before, like it, the shit actually started, and then, um, first episode rolls by, and it's like, yo, and shit's already going down. It's like, oh, they're stuck in the mirror world. Everything is like going out there, and then we see um Ren, and he and he just uh, he just uh, final events, a rider coming at um Abyss coming at him, and then Abyss just dies. For about. And Ren freaks the fuck out. We used Abyss for we we made Abyss cannon only to kill him off within like two not even not even two minutes. Like he he jobbers out the first out. He's the first one to jobber, and then later in the episode we have uh, Sinji being a good guy and he brought beer uh, brought beers and everything to. Uh, he had Raya the, like all the writers were there. T uh, Tiger, Scissors, uh, Guy, Raya, Very Emperor. Nice. Verde, Verde, Verde's a good guy, uh, but uh, fucking. And then what subsequently happens is that um, uh, Raya betrays uh, uh, Sinji, which is out of nowhere. It's like what the fuck. And then uh, even then, and then uh, his pet just eats uh, um, the 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 tiny Megane. So uh, there's that. And no, and then Emperor Uja the comes out of nowhere with Zolda. And a lot of shit's going on because like this is like the first episode and everything was going on and it's like Zolda's like uh uh Go which is Goro from the second uh Zolda user because that yeah, Kitauka yeah. just unfortunately he got probably the dead from cancer. Yeah, the, the yeah cancer. dead, uh, dead in canon, not, not his actor. actor. His actor yeah. is fine. Exactly. His actor is fine, but dead in canon. And then it's like he's calling uh uh fucking Uja fucking. Asakura, the fucking uh, his master, his, like he thinks he's his master, which is like no, like everything is like going 15 miles per hour, and I don't know what's going on. Meanwhile, in the real world, we have another Ryuki, um, just killing a bunch of people, and we have Gates and Soko. Oh, they're, they're there. Uh, 
fucking big Second episode. quick thing, quick side. Wee you, wee you, fresh out the presses, fresh out the presses. Yes. Fucking yeah. Twink Man right. for Beast Morphers is gold. We got. Yeah, we know. No, we got. Yeah, we, we... No, we got. No, video we have footage of it. I've yeah, seen no. it. Yeah. Yeah, I just saw it. That's yeah. not Wii U, Wii U. That's oh. not that. That's, that's oh, a late that's Wii U. That... Uh, and yeah. then in a way, in in some kind of fashion, just God, he looks like there's a scene in Ryuki in the second episode where it's like, like you want to watch it with your kid? Yeah, that's cool. And then you just put gay sex in, you know, just. Opens up. Raya was said to be gay. Was said like like yeah, like said to yeah. be gay and everything. It was fine. Everyone was cool with it. But then we just gay sex with get with guy and that is why guy. Was, I I don't know. Do you want to As, talk about what happened before the gay sex alt? I, I everything got they blurry. Just, they just fucking stab and murder. Goddamn. Okay. No, scissors. no, that's that was scissors. They were just having a lovely like. <laughs> Oh, it's okay they stopped him because it was scissors. Yeah. It was sis two riders died before scissors and that's w two. No, but one in too the many. end he just got stabbed by a knife. Yeah, yeah. he didn't get Bending. final vent and he just gets stabbed with two regular I'm... knives. The others got eaten by the fucking mirror monsters. That's that fucked is, up. But the thing is, it's just with the knife, and then the dude finishes eating the steak with the blood on the knife. Okay, yeah, in no way, it's like, what the fuck, and Why then, uh, later, Raya, later in the episode- they immediately have sex. Raya got his a Raya then immediately gets his ass kicked later on. Yeah, well, why didn't uh, they stab guy... him with scissors? That would've been more appropriate. Why when didn't- they were eating. Why did uh, Raya have see, to be um, evil? Uh, Raya was- he lost his memories and he didn't know, so when he- um, cause, uh, apparently Guy attempted to kill- uh, ki attempted to kill Raya cause he wanted, like, to yeah. love him forever, like, a weird Yandere character for some fucking reason. Got him. Uh, Imagine getting stabbed by two twinks and then the two twinks have sex over your corpse. Okay. Two, like, thirty- Wait, Okay, near the- twinks? Yeah. That episode, Raya gets his memories back and he- he, he tells Sinji the exact same words when he died in the first series and it's like, Oh, fuck's sake, what does that even mean? It and means then, he's um, gay for Sinji. And, and then, uh, Dark Sinji comes out, uh, re- uh, uh, like, just, Ryuga. like, uh, Ryuga just shows up, it's like, yo! And then he fuses with Sinji and then Sinji's, like, all crazy and it's like, in the most, like, r guy is, like, running around, like, it's like, he's trying to find, uh, Raya. He's like, I want you to love, 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 and and then Dark Sinji is just shows up like, Raya is dead, but I shall love you in his place, which is the most Inoue esque line I've heard. And then he just kills Guy. Why is Dark Sinji gay too? I t I don't think that was a gay part. I thought it was just him being sounding vaguely threatening. I mean, that sounds pretty gay, I don't know, man. And then, let's just fast forward through this, everything goes wrong, fucking we're trying to get, like, all the all the deadline of the day, uh, we found out about why another Ryuki is doing everything, is because, uh, he, uh, because uh, the main dude hit, uh, a, like, on a rainy night, hit a, 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 a woman, unfortunately, with his car, and then he, in a tone, to a tone, he, like, visited her in the hospital, and then he fell in love with her, and then... Uh, basically, what was is, what, what's going down is basically he's doing he's trying to kill enough people so he can let uh get to save the woman he loves. The the thing is is that not he even the woman he's trying to save thinks this is not gonna work, and then as a result, because the entire game is linked to her life uh to her life, and what essentially happens is that they just shorten the time uh okay oh yeah oh the battle game is shortened to one day now you have one more day to kill everyone here and it's like oh fuck and what essentially happens is that uh let's see uh many things are going wrong uh verde is a good guy and then he gets devoured by mirror monsters which is fucked up but he's like a good guy and that turned me around on the suit um uh uh zolda uh goro knew the entire time that he he was faking it just to get close to asakura and then they both fight in the fashion uh, Goro uh, unfortunately eats it before uh, and uh, and but sta fatally wounds uh, Asakura. Downside, he was still alive. And then the the, the final three was basically, hey, we ha that like like uh, Uja just shows up during that entire uh, um, fight against. And I'm back. Like, it was night. It was Ryuga and night, and they were having a really good fight. Up a really good fight. No survive cards were used because. They don't have that shit. They don't and, have those suits. Um, 
And what it became a three way like um out of suit like yeah. sword fight with with all of their summons, and then terribly, unfortunately, uh, uh, Uj Asakura. Uh, Ren saves Sinji from getting stabbed by from U Asakura, and then Asakura eats it, and then Ren dies in Sinji's arms, and then they echoed the ending of Ryuki in that same fashion, which was uh, I was mad about that, and then and then uh, and and the was, like he you he... aren't anymore. What was as in you are not anymore? Oh, I'm still disappointed in it because I'm I'm about to come up to the parts like and then uh. Ryuki fights another Ryuki, and it was really hype. Uh, and then the ride watch comes out nowhere, and then we see a character who's is that is that is that Kazuki? Because it's implied to be Kazuki because Odin appears out of nowhere, and he had it's both the survive cards and he had a hood on, and he's like, wasn't Odin a part of the Thirteen Riders as well? And then. And then, in order to use the final power, Gates and Sogo, because they're back in the picture, uh, he used decay, uh, de uh, Decayed Armor, uh, Ryuki Survive, and for less than five minutes, and what we did was just got special effects of of just using the ride watches as finishers, and... Aww. Like, the, o the music's good, I like the opening, but it's just... This is like, yeah, like the final episode was like, Alive Alive, yeah, that was the name of the ep the final episode, it's like, yeah! And then, er then the, the ending is like, fuck this! <laughs> well, what did you expect? Alive Alive, alive but nobody's I alive. Ex I don't know what I expected, I'm gonna be very honest with you, because but here's the thing. My salt is temporary at times, because I could just discount this as another ending of Ryuki. Well, yeah. yeah. This is just another offshoot ending of like, because good, thankfully it is not one timeline. There's just this is just a game. There's like a game ending where basically it's like, oh, we have the good ending, bad ending, uh, the neutral ending, the chaotic ending, the peaceful ending, the fucking true ending, the fucking. And this is the bad ending. This is the Inoue ending. This is fan no. fiction. I don't. I'm the, not gonna. T I'm discounting. The dog ending. This is the dog ending. And no, like what, what we didn't show at the end of the of Ryuki uh, Rider Time Ryuki is basically just in no way as a just as a dog and he's like writing on a piece of paper and and when he finishes writing it is like it was and then Shinji just comes in and is like it was you all along and then he was just yes bark and then yeah that was the end of it well, yeah uh, alive alive was playing in the background <laughs> yeah I uh, so. Yeah, can they bring Kobayashi back for something, please, please yeah. instead of please. Let, continuing to let Inoue touch Kobayashi's stuff? I know Inoue wrote episodes for Ryuki. Please don't send in an email reminding me of that. I'm aware of that. That doesn't make this okay. Cool. Uh, let's let's, let's, let's cleanse the palate. Uh, hey, 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 Zed. That's... Hey, oh, Zed. Naruto Uzuraki for us! Shinobi! <laughs> Shinobi is the hypest. <laughs> Dude, this is I the need hype as shit. I still need to watch that shit. Like I just said, that I, I, like yeah, I also have to watch it soft. I just saw it raw, but the bull, the bullshit they do. Shinobi's finisher is literally a move Naruto does. Fuck off. It's, it is. It is, it is a Uzumaki barrage. It is the Naruto barrage. Uzumaki barrage. Basically, but Naruto makes the... shadow clones, punts people into the air, and then knocks them down. Like we get. Uh, and the secondary writer is still a oh, treat. Oh, Hatari like, is great. Yeah. Hatari is basically the beast of Shinobi. Of, of the thing is, Hatari is... Hatari is a weird kind of secondary where usually secondaries are usually these brooding assholes. But, the, or like, he is... but he's just kind of like this dork. He's who wants, beast. He he's want, beast. Who wants to fuck fucking Ren's sister. Yeah. And that seems to be a theme with all the characters in the show. Accidental incest. Cause I I think the main I think the main bad guy also wants to fuck uh, Shinobi's sister. <laughs> nice. Because she's the queen of the the Rainbow Snake Clan. And also the or the princess have... the princess that's the main bad guy group the Rainbow Snake Clan. Yeah, uh -huh. and it was a cre and the the vil uh, the villain was just a creepy old man. I will the be right snake back. Clan. Yeah. It, it was a creepy old man, but then after that, Blood Clan Two. The the most 
the the thing that got us the most me and Zed the most is that the you know the talking frog picture in the first day. Oh like, yeah, you... yeah, that's essentially it became a dude. Like oh. like uh, like a uh, Shinobi goes to like another room to go talk to his sister in Hatari, and then the, the, he becomes like a super cool looking dude. He has like a whole bunch of gourds on his waist, and he's like, he just looks like the ultimate badass ninja. Also, I think he, we recognize the actor, but not for sure. I was sure. Think. And but then it's like, oh, look at these other fucking Shinobi writers. The other ninjas, <laughs> and they were like, and the opening was playing in the background too, and it was just. Toei is, is, I know Toei is not going to do this, but I want it no. to be real. Super no, they have fun. to. They, can't they have just, to. They can't just they say, hey, look at it. these, look at these new writers. Look these this. four look new this. writers with these unique designs. One of them has is... bombs for hands. <laughs> I know. Bomb, bomb hands that are also boxing gloves. Bomb fists. You, you don't... You well, know we Kamen Rider Knuckle? Gloves. You know Knuckle from Gaim? We you don't, don't think of that, I... but with bombs for fists. Basically, we don't know if they're actually bombs. We or don't... Oh, boxing gloves, boxing gloves. I would love... He just has okay. big old... They're like, either like... other riders, other ninjas, or other force for no No, they, I think they are other ninjas, because they're all styled like other ninjas. Yeah, they are. I've up, seen up, pictures of them. Well, the master is, is, the, is one of the lightning rangers from Hurricane. Yeah! Is he? <laughs> Yeah, apparently, according to our friend From Sota. From Hurricane Which one? Is he Navy or is he Crimson? <laughs> He's... Master Gamano, he is played by Nobu <laughs> Kyo, who played uh, the Kuwaga Ranger. Is it Navy? No, it, uh, it, counts, it is yeah, Navy, Kuwaga. yes. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> it just Alt got has just nothing. Dude, I love my ninjas. Let's be real here. Ninjas are fucking cool. Ninjas are cool. fucking cool. Ninjas are fucking cool. Like, samurais are cool, but you know what's cooler? Ninjas. It's like ninjas. Like, he also played Toei. Neo Alpha. Toei, please. Shinobi. Shinobi. Please. Shinobi. Kenzo. I'm just getting a picture of Bomb Hands McMike. One second. Uh, yeah, but, put it up uh, on the stream. We should probably like leave a, like the end title card is just us uh, giving nicknames to the various. Uh, uh, well, no, that's the, the other ones aren't as clear of what they are, but bomb uh, hands. I, make, I'm getting the other pictures. One second. Uh, uh, can I name the blue one just Blue Ninja Hero? He's it probably. Looks like hero I don't know if he's a hero though. He could be a bad guy. No, no he's bomb hero. hands make Mike. Bomb hands make Mike. And his friend, this club two. Kusare Yama five. There is bomb hands make Mike. <laughs> That's bomb man! He just Look how- has, Oh my god! He just has fucking bombs for hands! He's just bomber man. Can we would... please get Shinobi as a thing? We need to, we need to get all to the fucking- It needs to be a full series of, and... Like, literally all they need to do is redesign the driver and that's it. Yeah. I'm gonna make- And just flame it as like, oh, this is a stronger version of your original driver. Also, or get... literally just say it's a slightly different timeline where his here is drive a, is different. Here is it. a writer based off size. Star Ninja. No, this is, no, this is based is off getting... of comma. Raw. Uh, Star Ninja is super this getting. Guy I is, love this guy uh, is the next one I'm going to post is a kunai. Kunai. Oh, that's raw. D this dude yeah, looks like he drinks cool. and and tells. This dude looks shit. like he fucks. He looks like Fulgor. He does! <laughs> oh no, he's, he's just gonna full ultra! Gore. He's gonna ultra! Ultra! Shinobi. Ultra combo! Full gore ninja! <laughs> Wait a minute, oh no! Oh, that's hype! Oh, oh no, we're breaking it too! We're breaking it making... oh. And here's the writer based off Psy. Yeah! This is my favorite one! Look how fucking edgy this motherfucker is! Oh my is. god, I love him! Oh, this is Shredder! He's a sigh, like it's like, like you can Sai. see the, you can see these are just drawings and not actual suits. Yeah. But God, I want these to be actual I suits. Want, I want no, that to be a bird. Sure. I just noticed his face has like the sigh turned sideways. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's oh, not like it's so it's probably style. probably a bird theme too for all I look oh, like. Oh, that's so not cool. Just Shredder, Deadly Alliance, fucking uh, the Deadly Alliance Sub Zero, fucking. The, it's fucking, side, it's, again, the one I love the most is Bomb Hands McMike. 
I Bob like Sai. Bob Mike is powerful. He is a Sai is my wild favorite. Card. Full gore kunai man. Sai is my favorite one because look how fucking sharp. My that favorite is. is fucking full gore kunai man because he also because he, he looks oh. like full gore. Because A, he looks like Fulgore, and B, he also looks like something out his actual suit looks like something out of fucking Star Wars or uh, Mass Effect. Wait, no, the Kusari Yamak one, you know why I like it so much? It's because it looks like uh, turn A Kuntum now. Oh my god, yes. Wait, you stack. mean the Sai one? The blue one? Yeah, no, 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 uh, no, Kusari Yama, the Sai, uh, the Kusari Yama. Uh, the which one? All of these Change, the change, change Sickle, Change Sickle. Oh, the Kama, the Kama. Yeah, the Kama, yeah, the look Kama, at that, yeah. he looks like fuck. yeah. Yeah, he all does look like Turn amazing. Amazing. All of these are amazing <gasps> designs, and they need to fucking use oh, them. I because will. they oh, wait, they I... tease it. They tease it by saying, "Oh, uh, these are the next. These are the challenges you must face in the future." And then it zooms in on the scroll, and it's like, "Oh, look at these badasses!" Like, come on, <laughs> come on. Shinobi. And okay. Hatari has this really cool rider kick. Where he like he goes into the air and does a rider kick, but then he teleports with his fucking bees and think then like hyper muteki and then slashes everyone. Hyper muteki, oh but that all of this oh. is it's no 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 no. The he said hyper muteki, but with bees. Because we because we never had because because we never really had a proper like ninja ninja, ninja themed fucking like, I'm trying to, like we've had rider. like a couple of ninja themes, but they weren't the main ones. Ninja one. themed we had, forms. We had Z cross, and we never and like the only other time I remember kunai's uh, being used is uh, fucking Gaiman. That's uh, just each. But also no, also uh, uh storm Ninja, arms, yeah. Yeah. ninja comic. Oh. Also ninja and, 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 I'm yeah, ashamed and of ninja myself. Comic I forgot and, about yeah. ninja comic. Oh. And also a movie form yeah. for Xade. Movie rider. Wait, movie rider. No, yeah. mo movie. Uh, uh, uh his. Uh. Wait, Fuma. Oh, Hurricane yeah. Ninja. Fuma. 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 Tatsumaki, Tatsumaki, Hurricane, Hurricane ninja. ninja. I like how you barely remember. Fuck. His name, but you remember his jingle. You remember his jingle. Cause that jingle is just. jingles are always so good. Yeah. Yeah, I anyway, Maki, 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 Tatsumaki. this is the first straight up ninja, ninja main rider. And again, the, pro the and premise of the entire so thing is so amazing. We it's fucked up so the Earth's climate ridiculous. so bad is that we needed ninjas to give, give us like basic fire and water. It's so and good. And so they just said, hey, everyone needs to be a ninja now. It's so good. I fucking love it. I want Shinobi to be a real thing after the I next season. It. I just no, I no, I just want it to be the next season. No, because I I feel like we need we gotta have because here's what I want. I want Zio. I want a Kobayashi season, and I want Shinobi no, written by whoever's writing the Shinobi special. Because no, because you need Shinobi to be, be 2022. Prop, yeah, in 2022. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's fair, but it's like I just want him now. I just want him now. Same. He's so cool. Like make it Amazon's. Like, not edgy like Amazon's, I mean, just like that format. Put it online or something. Right. Yeah, like, Please. just make oh it a God. full series. I fucking so cool. love Shinobi so much. And Rentaro much. is the best. Rentaro, Rentaro is, is the best. I love him. I would die for him. I want them Nin to put this amount of effort into Kick Eye as well. I don't really Star care about Star Ninja! In like a hundred years? <laughs> no, I mean, like, do another special. Yeah, do another special for, for Kikai. Like, Kikai or like. <laughs> Quiz. Give love to Kikai. Not for Quiz. quiz. I for love Kikai. Both of them. Yeah. Specifically, quiz. I love Kick. I love Kikai more than Quiz. I'll be honest. Yeah, I'll also be honest. Hiromu, stop yelling at the chicken. I mean, it's Hiromu. It's Hiromu, so that's the main Passion. reason why I feel attached Passion. to Quiz. Passion. Question. Quiz. Quiz as a character sadly didn't live up to like the concept of the future rides overall, while Kikai certainly fucking did. And He's I also, just Neo Showa. I also like the names of all the episodes for fucking Shinobi, because they're called, like, First Nin Pao. Yeah! And, like, yeah. Next Nin Pao and Last Nin Pao. Because it's, it's like, Nin Pao. It's like, and also the announcer is also the best. Oh my god, I, like, I the, need to fucking watch this. It's so good, because, like, the... We... the because the next time voice is like the most like hyperactive dude, and he's just yelling "pow, nin pow" everywhere. Yeah! He, the thing about it is that they need to fucking sub this quicker. Cause oh my god! It's like I know TV Nihon did the first episode, I, and it was great. I I now understand why Japan loves using the ninja theme and dinosaur theme so much. It's because they're super fucking good, and it's like how many ninja sentai have we got? Oh, we have a uh, Kaku Ranger. <laughs> 
uh, uh, so we have Kaku Ranger. Kaku Ranger, Hurricane Ranger, Ninja. 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 Uh, there's probably more. Uh, do we count Mask Man? Do we count do we Mask count... Man? Yeah, okay. Uh, we need. We need. We need to do research on that part. I'm trying to. See we don't. Who, I'm trying to see who Hatari is. Like who his <sighs> actor is. But Star Ninja did his best, and that's I. I want him to be a main writer. No, you. T uh... you, t you see Star Ninja over there. You see Star over there, right? Right. Make him a writer. Okay. Yes. What was the, what was I'm the, making okay, he, has, he hasn't. What was that? He hasn't done any other Toku stuff. He's mostly done like dramas. What if it were purple? What if that's purple? what it is? And but here's the thing: is purple riders are always sexy. So if you have a purple main rider, it's good. And Rose, like, you know why? You know why Hatari's the secondary is because he's yellow and he compliments the purple. He's orange. <laughs> he's orange. He's orange. He's orange. he's orange, but he still compliments the purple. <laughs> orange compliments is a complimentary color to purple. And I'm the suit is just so good. Like both it's suits so are great. Fun. Yo, uh, so uh, uh, so we have um an, a bride player and some ninja stuff. What happens if we? Oh shit, this is really oh, we good. Stuff. Hey, so we got uh we got dark drive and some ninja stuff. Oh. oh. Yeah, it would be funny if they did actually make a full series. This would just be like, hey, you know, Shinobi and Hatari are kit bashes, but the rest aren't. No, you keep the no. But you make no, you I'm make not them all the. To ch I'm not saying to change that they're kit bashes because they're perfect the way they are. I'm just saying it would be really funny to have the main and secondary be kit bashes and all of the other riders not. Be. No, no, no. Watch the other other riders also be kit bashes. Like, oh, oh we we oh, dissected oh, oh, knuckle. Oh, 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 you know oh, the oh, bad oh, guy. Oh. You know the bad guy. Yeah. The bad. Guess who he's voiced by. Who? My guy. <laughs> From Naruto! Oh. He's so good! I you! He's the best one! Oh, wait, who is he first? I can't believe Might Guy is our villain. He's I swear to fuck, guy. I'm gonna I, make fucking I lose it. I can't believe Shinobi has saved Kamen Rider. Shinobi! <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm laughing because I'm like in like. I'm in like this kind of. Watching it go down live is the best because you just felt the energy. Like it was so much fun. It was, it was like, really so fun. like it didn't take itself seriously at all. It was the best. Okay. So... What's our premise? All of our society is ninjas. ninjas. Yeah. Let's do so. This. We live in a ninjutsu society. We live in a ninja society. We're the, also the cool thing is that we are fighting dreamers. We are the fucking fighting dreamers. And the cool thing also is that the premise of the episodes is that there's a ninja tournament, so you could get a job at a ninja company <laughs> and get paid in nin and get paid in ninja. Because bucks. that's also the big Nin-yen. thing. Yeah, is, is that Johnson? I need you to get me those ninja. On Friday. Nin -yen! Is, Nin also the main also the main thing with Rentaro and his sister is that they're fucking poor and that fucking Ren Rentaro always forgets to pay the fucking bills. <laughs> and so it's like we don't have power, <laughs> Rentaro. I Did you forget to play the electric bill? And he's like, ah oh, shit. I'm gonna post the opening. When your I, lights I, don't work. <laughs> It's oh the best. God. It's the best. Shinobi. And the opening is really good. And Hatari too. and Hatari is like is the son of the CEO of a, the Kanjo company, which is a fucking is a oh, company he's a fucking rich kid. Yeah, he's a company recruiting high skill ninjas. Our main writer theme is a frog. <laughs> Fuck this, yeah. this this entire concept is so good. <laughs> it's so stupid and good. And like, no, he, also, Atari so super wants to fuck. Like, and he's also like not like the kind of usual like I want to fuck a girl in writer where it's like oh, I just want to fuck her. He like legitimately cares about her because like at the end of the ep, uh, he's actually in love. Not just yeah, like because at the end of the episode, like he like because the main the main thing is that they're saving her from the bad guys, and then uh, uh Shinobi just kind of disappears with her to save her. And then he shows up at Rentaro's house. It's like, Rentaro, fuck! See, your sister's fucking missing. We have to go save her. We have to go fucking save her. And then she just shows up and he's like, what? What? 
Oh. Speaking of just shows up, hey, hey Sano, Sano is here, and he's probably going to talk about Agito some more. So, no, but uh, just let us dial. Like, okay, just, let's and, just dial a little bit back with Shinobi. Shinobi because Shinobi's the fucking hypest bullshit. Oh, <laughs> actually, I don't doubt actually, it. Actually, Sano will probably Sano, have something Sano, bigger to talk about. Oh, wait, uh, quick question to you, writing. Sano. How do you feel about Naruto? Eh. How do you feel about my guy? Eh. Oh, okay, never mind. I was just uh, gonna I mean, I like him. I mean, I like him as because a Because my guy's voice actor is in this as a ninja. As uh, the main villain. Oh. Yeah, he's the main villain of Shinobi. Neat. It's the best. Yeah. Because I didn't know that, and I told Ult, and I just fucking creamed, creamed my pants. Yeah, they were so excited. Anyway, so first of all, I wanted to ask you, is Mana and Agito? Yes. Yes, I know. Okay, that. thank you, because none of us actually remembered. And we can't just assume. Okay, you can leave there is, Okay, there is a character that ca that is has to get into the late game that died earlier, and Mana's the only one that can bring him back because of her being an Agito. All right, thank thanks. you. All right, thank you, Sano. You can leave now. Or is that her power? That she... No, you can stay. Yeah, you can stay. You can stay. Uh, if uh, we were just nutting over and Shinobi. We're just, we were the Gosh. last like past twenty minutes have been just us nutting over Shinobi. And okay. now the next twenty minutes can be Sano nutting over Aki. So. No, no. Yeah. Uh, Did you see the Agito <laughs> arc? Yeah. What'd you think? I'd like to know your opinions as the giant. I thought that for I thought as a fan of Agito, I got everything that I really I could have asked for. You got the fucking believe yourself. I hate yeah, you. we got the best fight scene, uh, song from fight song from uh the show. Not, I'm, I just that's forgot about that one moment say. with with uh fucking uh Gate Shippu, where he just fucking teleports all around and cuts all the Agitos and it explodes. Like, ah, I'm, so cool. I'm both, I'm still salty, but also glad that Agito and 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 Blade got the love they deserve. But the, the trade off is that Ryuki. <laughs> like, I just want to know how much love Deno could get for its art, dude. Yuto, 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 okay, Yuto, Yuto, all, Yuto, okay, Yuto, 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 You say this, we're probably gonna get all of them back, every we, single character. Like we already. Had they're already in the show. We have both fucking We, we have We have Mana's Yuto. actress. And Yuto's actor is showing up in the next and episode. And Ryo Toto's actor. Well, we and, we also have, and we also have and we also have Seiji Takaiwa as ever as the Deno cast. Yeah. Well, yeah, they have yeah, like the suit actors for all the imagination. But again, are, like, like they have basically the, the entire world. cast available except uh fucking uh That voice mm -hmm. cast is always available. Uh -huh, They'll do yeah. anything. Yeah, except Hannah. Just, Everyone else is available. Just bullshitted that she went. She turned into a child again. Just, yeah, just, uh, uh, a different child. Oh, oh. I'm a different <laughs> child this time. Child two. This this is the third time this happens. So, I wish this would stop three. happening. I don't know, like third. Yeah, I mean, it's one happened off stream. Child four. <laughs> Like, I wish this would stop happening and my parents would just fuck. Please, <laughs> get, please get Kobayashi back to write Dano arc. Please. It'd be so I will, good. I, I okay, will be more redacted say... if it means getting her back. Can we also say, I think they took the, they made sure not to take the biggest risks on any of the arcs and just put Inoue with the Kiva arc. It's like, yeah, we're going to give Kiva his, or we're going to give Inoue his baby. Oh! <laughs> Well, we'll he, didn't, he, didn't, where... he didn't write the Ryuki arc in Zio. He wrote the writer time, but not the actual yeah. arc. The arc Gates was and, fine. Gates and Sogo just happened to be there. Yeah. Yeah, Um. Yeah. but I feel like them giving the Kiva arc to Inoue was the best they could have done. Because if they gave the Kiva arc to anyone else, it probably would have been pretty boring. Yeah. But then if they had given the, any other arc to Inoue, then it would have turned out like writer time Ryuki. Unless, it was, or, or just, unless just, like, it's Kabuto, it's... which might have turned into the Dark Kitchen arc too. <laughs> but sadly, we're not getting that because, yeah. Legal thing. No, not that because Inoue is directing the fucking. Or writing right. the fucking Kiva arc. Inoue is not the director. Kabuto. Yeah, he's writing the Kiva arc, not the Kabuto arc. I yeah. can't wait for no one to talk. No one yeah, will talk. Yeah, I'm to... gonna be so excited! <laughs> Hey, Gates, now, like, do you want to talk to me? High no. levels of misunderstanding. No, I want imminent. Sogo and Days to just oh not God. talk to each other, oh even though we've had episodes where they're both just, like, what? chatting it up. We get more of Gates being written by Inoue. I'm so excited. It's going to be the worst. 
Hmm. Imagine being no, gay. Suddenly, he's like, I have to kill Sogo again. Suddenly, I don't want to talk to you, even though I have been your ally for the past three hours. I know I'm oh, basically God. your retainer now, but... Oh, no! You. Oh, no, we're gonna get was written by you now. Oh, no! Game <laughs> says was. But, Just uh... him naked in Sogo's bathtub, like, wagamau. He's Sometimes like, this is nice. I didn't like, know you were This is just the Twitter videos we keep seeing. Yeah. I didn't know you were coming in here this morning, Wagamo. I'm taking a shit. I, I, I literally here. told you five minutes I was taking a shit. I didn't you know. You teleported into here specifically so that you uh, could watch me well, take uh, a shit. How long have we been going with this? We've been going for a while. It's been, uh... Yeah, okay, let's move on. News. Oh, uh, uh, got, got news. Uh, got news. Uh, uh news. Uh, hey, yeah. Sano. There's some there's some news about a certain uh series uh, uh about uh the certain something uh, I think there's two specific words that there's you should like leave with Grand Dad <laughs> Grand Dad Yes so fucking go ahead Sano Okay I don't know you take it Okay, I'm okay with basic I'm better with an idea I, I can't remember his name It's I think it's Taiga or Taro uh, 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 Ultraman Taiga, the son of Ultraman Taro, which now means grandson. Father of Ultra is now a granddad. Yeah, he's now a pappy. Ken is now a grand mom, grandmother of Ultra. Grandmother. G milf. She was always She's the greatest hot. mother. Yeah, I mean. Uh, so. <laughs> Ultimate, let's ultimate, talk a little more change, about yeah. let's explain more about Taiga. This so, Taiga is Deno, but Ultraman. Yeah, because there's three of them. There's three of them, and one of them has and the biggest And one of them's super size. buff. One of them's just big swole. Good yeah. Man. There's, uh, there's Ultraman Taiga, Ultraman uh, Titus, Titus. Titus, and, and uh, I'll just get the names. Uh, and Ultraman Fuma. Fuma yeah, is Ultra. the blue one, Titus is the big buff bitch, and Tiger is the middle one, who is like the all-rounder. And uh, Trigir from the uh, uh, RB movie is coming back, so fucking elf shoes. Yes, Clown Ultraman shoes, motherfucker. Which Ultraman are you? The fighter! Yeah. The fighter. Truck freak, yeah, crazy ball. ass! Uh, no, wait, no, you get fucking Clown Shoes McMike. Yeah, Clown Shoes McMike is the, the main villain. Uh, yeah. Is the f and good. also we have the private security organization Aegis. We have a fucking science team again. Finally. Yes. Not just some fuck. We have a we have a fucking team now instead of just some losers. Well, fucking let's do uh, Okay, first of all, first of all, uh the Happy Smile Insurance Company from uh Jeed those were those were a good group. Those were out. Those were yes, a fine right. semi replacement. They just wasn't yeah. something to focus on them. Also, yes, the something the search people though. Those are terrible. Anything, also, though. I know we haven't really been talking about it, but this is the first Ultraman of the Rewa era. Oh yes. yeah, right. Uh, yeah. So something to point out. Uh, important thing to point out. We should go into a little more detail about Taiga, Tidas, and Puma. Uh, so I'll I'll get the information. Yo, I, I have the information right in front of me. Okay. Okay, so Taiga is the son of Ultraman Taro. He, deep inside, the, uh, the hero who once saved the Earth. Deep inside, he wishes his father Taro to understand and recognize him, but he cannot admit his true feelings to him. He has a he strong has sense of justice and is very enthusiastic. He founded the Tri-Squad. Although still young and unskilled, he... Uh, so, dedicates himself to fighting for peace on Earth. So basically, uh, Tiger's whole character is FUCK YOU, DAD! <laughs> he's Boruto the Ultra- he's Ultraman Boruto. It's not- uh, it's not like I love you, Dad. It's not like I love yeah. you. Uh, second one, Ultraman Tidas, uh, from the plant from planet U-40, the, uh, birthplace, birthplace of Jonaeus. Of Jonaeus. Uh, uh, with his trained body and healthy spirit, he's skilled, he's skilled in, skilled in heavyweight battle. battles. Then Ultraman Puma. Uh, and then Puma from Planet O50, the place where Orb and Rosso and Blue uh, got their power. Uh, he has a has rough personality, but also various super. techniques. But he has a rough personality, but also a strong sense of duty. He's a Sasuke. 
Kintaros. Yeah. Ultraman Kintaros. Uh, well, what, yeah. And well, then, no, and then is, Titus, uh, all, Titus all be like, I need to get Titus. my protein powder for today. Yeah, Titus is that. This and is, then... Yeah, this is just uh, Ultraman Deno, but uh, yeah. it, but without a, Ryu, uh, a Ryutaros. Well, no, the far main, as oh yeah, but, uh, that, that's gonna be the, that's gonna be the thing. It's like there'll be a fourth Ultraman that gets revealed, and he'll be like a kid. It's, it's the final form. Yeah. Yeah. Trigger is gonna it'll... jump in. Uh, so yeah, uh, Trigger, Trigger is revealed that he is Taiga's arch nemesis, and he was formerly, and he's ba- and basically he is to ta- and basically Trigger is to Taro what fucking uh, what. Belial is to Ken. Yeah, he just wants to fucking beat the fuck up out of Taiga. Where, so like, they used to be him. friends, but then he turned evil. He's like, I want to beat him up. Uh, his, him and his stupid perfect face and his fucking beautiful legs and his, and so his yeah. family that and loves him. Human host, Kira Yuki. Uh, young member of the private security organization, Aegis. Uh, that's E G I S. Enterprise uh, of Guard and Investigation Services. Just can I ask one thing? Sure. What, yeah. What's up? Yeah. Can we please not have a car be the ba- be the main toy for this co- for this group? What do you mean a car? It's it, a in Ultraman X. It, they uh, got a sponsorship with a car dealership. Oh. oh, oh. And I don't remember the specific type of car, but this car would enter would uh, lock into other toys, and to fold around or open around the car, to the point to where the car could fly into space through attachments. That's dumb. It's uh, dumb, but I love it because of how stupid it is. Uh, Zed, you have been putting up the pictures of. Uh... Oh no, I have not. One second. Yeah. Okay. So we should do that. Uh, that. So get that get that big poster and then get the picture of the three new Ultramen. Yeah, the one with Daddy Taro in the background who has a cape. Yeah. Does he always have with the cape? Or... Uh, no. Uh, well, sometimes well, he has the now, mantle. The, well, yeah. The, now they all have because they're all the old the old guard. You know, the the brother the brothers all the have poster. the mantle. The mantle itself is kind of like both a power up and kind of a. Uh, like a uh, like a big uh, like a big status uh, thing. What uh, I, I have a quick question about what the name of the original Ultraman is because everyone has like Taiga and that, but is he just called Ultraman or is, does he have a? Title? He's just called Ultraman. Okay. Yeah. He, the big the thing is he just just he doesn't have a name. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's just, just Ultraman. Ultraman. He was just a Ultraman. He was so, just Ultraman. We're gonna go from the Ultraman to talk about something. I'm excited about. Because right. guess what, fuckers? Kamen Rider Brain is real! real? And it's not yeah. a fucking puppet show, so fuck what? all they of you! What? They it at the last second. So, uh, it's fucking happening, no, and it's going to be apparently a parody special thing where the fucking... There's a character literally played by Chris Pepler, um, Crim's actor, and his name is just a misspelling? If Chris Pepler and he just fucking Kaizo Ningen's brain into being a rider, and then he fights like Dark Rides and shit, it seems like it's gonna be like positioned as like fucking sort of common. Like, okay, okay. Rider bro. I love there. that. So, I so really get, want it to be a self image. Get the image of this. Uh, uh, they they showed off the the figure art uh, for Brain. Oh shit. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, they okay, did. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say as a dry fan. The figure arts for Kamen Rider Brain. But I'm going to say as a drive fan, I am glad this is happening. You know why? Because the suit, we sacrificed Gore Drive for this stupid, for fucking, for Brain, and Brain yeah, looks super it, good. Hey, you know what makes this bike better? It's smarter than your average bike because it has a stupid brain on it. <laughs> it's great. Uh, I love it. So, so all of these things. Also, he just has the fucking sunglass slasher. <laughs> He has a green sunglass slasher, but it fits him infinitely more than it ever fit Ghost. Yeah, the Megane. Yeah, he's a Megane. Yeah, one because he's a Megane. Two because it looking dumb and stupid fits the fact that this is meant to be like a kind of joke self parody special. I feel ultimate. like it's going to be like Akiba Ranger just because of that, but maybe not the same in tone. But like in terms of like it being kind of ridic- fucking uh, ridiculous. Again, the big thing is just the amount of people that the amount of Dark Riders there are. There's fucking yeah. Common Rider Poseidon there. Yeah. Um. Mm. 
Apparently the Alliance of the Dark Riders are going to be like a parody of like the usual like monster alliances in Rider or something like that. Um, Hearth and Medic are back as well, uh, which is fucking great. Like you can't have a fucking brain focus special yeah. without the other two droid nudes. You can't do that. That would be fucked up. If it was just Heart, then it would still be fucked up because then uh, Brain wouldn't have Medic to play off of. Yeah, because Medic would be like, oh, fuck you, Brain. Yeah. And then Brain just in the background, just like pulling I on his hanky. Let Brain has a Toe no, Kiwi. No, he won't. He's in the he's foreground the now. now. He and because he Toei is has said in the fo- he is Toei, in the for- Toei has finally said gay rights, so Brain and Heart can finally fuck live on Wait, in is that front right? in front of medic. It. Partle maker watch. Just no, fuck. I don't. I don't no, think we have an official Brain name for make it yet. Her watch. Okay. I enjoy Brain as a character. He's great. Yeah. I, we no, all. No, no, no. Brain. Brain will make her watch, and then he'll ask Heart to make her watch. Yeah. Make uh, Medic a watch because she's she here with. I would love you that you'd watch me and Brain link a lot. And she play? <laughs> yes, Heart Sama. Yeah, she does it, but she's not fucking happy about it. Yeah. I want this so bad. I, I just, I'm so excited for this special. I'm just, he's, it's so good. It's so stupid. It, it's so stupid, but that's what Brain deserves. He gets this stupid like parody special to end Fucking the dr- hey, We are getting Air drive Rock. content in our year at Lore 2019. No, here's oh, the thing. The thing is, this is the end of Heisei. Brain is the end of is Heisei. The- Brain is the end of Heisei and the beginning of Reiwa. Because he's the first Reiwa writer. The Alpha and the Omega! Brain! Brain. Can we just edit that reveal in DLC? Brain is the Agi, is the real Agi Tomega. I fucking love this so (laughs) much! And and they've got Riku Sanjo back to write it, and I feel like. I feel like this is. I feel like this special is the final oh step God. in fucking redeeming a- apparently, drives. Pop- apparently, the, ba- the Chris Pepler guy is fucking. Uh, the guy playing is gonna be named Doctor Crystal. Yeah, Doctor Chris. It's like his name is basically a misspelling of Chris Pepler. It's the best. Chris Crystal it's Pe- great. Pepsi. Healer. It's great. It's Crystal Pepsi. The best. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> it's. The- <laughs> Stupidest. Krim Steinbelt and Chris Pepper. Yeah, both of his fucking character names are so stupid, it's great. <laughs> I love Drive this. Drive type Pepler! I love this. I also, fucking love this. Also, an, apparently also another paradox is gonna be in it. <laughs> but not like the, like the, like the one from uh, Poppy oh, and yeah. Black Paradox. Yeah, not but it another is, paradox. No, it, that is his official name, Another Paradox. Yeah, it is Another Paradox. Oh, that's paradox. right, he yes. is Another Paradox. Yeah, right, okay. You're yeah, the oh next. fuck, it's Decade again. <laughs> it's like, ah shit, he gotta fight. Ah shit. Again, Baby the biggest one it. that makes me like, <sighs> is fucking Poseidon being there. Because it's fucking Poseidon. Oh my Poseidon. god, what if they do something with Another Paradox Geo? That'd be great. And, and then he has like the another rider ride watch, but it's the only one that the fa- they He's technically another, another rider Agito. from the future. I know, but but what if the what if they have uh but what if they have like uh the ride watch they they release like more another rider ride watch faces and ones for another Agito and another Paradox are just fucking like the normal another Agito and another Paradox face. It just fuck. I'm just like, oh my god. This whole like, oh my god. this has the, been the most like, what the fuck couple weeks for a while. Yeah, clown world, but in a good way. Um, it's like, oh yeah, no he's back. We have more news, rider related, um, in oh. relation to a special, which is we have more info on the the Greece Perfect Kingdom toy, which still looks like complete garbage. Don't we also have the form? Uh, no, we don't. No, I, I think that was just the that was a little bit. That was a Photoshop. That yeah. was very clearly a Photoshop. I hope uh, it's not a it's... Photoshop. I, the, hope it is. I don't know what the fuck the deal with its lines are. 
Um, it says welcome in English. Welcome. Um, I, d I don't know what the fucking deal with this thing really is. I really don't know. It's the, I the, kind, it's the mystery. I, I don't know if I love it or hate it. Okay, what if it's what? What if it's welcome? Are you ready? No, we we've seen. We, we have, have one. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, well, I thought I figured it was going to time in with the, yeah, what, what, the belt. The belt doesn't say "Are you right?" Oh well, no, yeah, the belt. One of y'all could post like the translations. It's in uh, podcast uh, docket. Literally, just uh, scroll up a bit. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, oh, okay. I see. Podcast docket. Uh, solidarity. Welcome, Greece solidarity, Greece perfect. Are you, Are you ready? ready? Farmers, Farmers Festival, Festival, Greece perfect. Gakin, Gokin, Gakon, Dokin. Hmm. Docking. Like... I can't Hi, wait for Sogo to. I can't wait for Sogo to nut over this. <laughs> this is kingdom. a kingdom, though. He doesn't give a shit about a kingdom. He just wants to be king. Yay. Well, what is a king without a kingdom? Sogo. My kingdom for a horse. <laughs> a horse for a horse. Can we just? Oh yeah, also we have news on uh, Was Ginga that's going to yeah. be happening during the Kiva arc, and Ginga yeah. Ginga appears to just Kamen be a Kamen Rider Ginga, yeah, Kamen Rider Ginga is just evolved to now I want to conquer not kill. Yeah. yeah. Which he, is... It, yeah, he's mm -hmm. basically... He, he... A Ginga is an enemy of humanity seeking to conquer the entire universe. It came from space. Good. He's here to conquer. Evil. Have they, have they released the Kilber Spider? Nope. Wow. You know also, also, we will be getting uh, Grand Zio soon. It has yeah. been teased in Terabicoon, so that's. We have to... not. But question: Are we not have toy to scans for yet. Zio yet? Yeah. What? Are we allowed to know about this one? No. Yeah. Well, no. we're allowed to guess about it. We're allowed to see the silhouette. We're not yeah. allowed, allowed to. Do... to go, we're allowed to go. Whoa! What's that? What could it? What, what could it be? Um, I like. We don't could it have be this incredibly garish golden fucking thing. We don't have um. Go... We don't have toy scans for the fourth quarter. The thing of the year, is, which it's is so fun. weird because I I just want to say it's because of that asshole. Shirakura fucking killed whoever was leaking. It's like, toy hey, scans. stop that shit. I no found more. you, leaker. He then he's leaker. like, but then he's like is, it if I, is it if I still leak the, the Sentai ones? And he's like, sure, whatever. You don't care sure, whatever. Just, just don't. Go ahead. This is all, it's like, the fucking, like, oh uh, god, the fact, we haven't gotten any toy scans. It's, it's so weird. weird. Where are they? Where are probably they? Because you know what it means. It, it could mean anything. It could mean we could get a a, a Sukiyomi ride. We could uh, get a repeat of Grease Blizzard, yeah. Fucking Where it's just like, hey, you know this thing that wasn't in the toy scans? Fuck you! Here it is. Here it is. It's not a toy. What if they're not releasing toys till the end of fucking Zio? Like of all mm. the all the stuff past Grand. They're just fucking with us. It's like we're gonna. Oh no! Oh and yeah, no. To, um, well, I, I bet they, they, Great they Cross, probably released. Great Cross wasn't in uh, yeah. the toy scan either that we had. Like they'll just be yeah. like, we're not gonna release toy scans because we're not gonna have toys till of all these past things till it's all done. This is gonna so be we the could funniest keep it, shit. See, we could keep it under wraps. Trying to figure out what the fuck is coming up when we don't have toy scans anymore is gonna be so fun. Yeah, it's like you're gonna be actually surprised for things. We're naked and afraid. <laughs> like, naked in, and afraid. In the end, we still have Terabicoon, but Terabicoon doesn't show everything. We already know this. Terabicoon is only a few weeks ahead. That's it. No, even then, they they didn't tell us about Shoichi. Yeah. They didn't tell us yeah, about they Blade. Oh, well, they didn't tell us about Blade Boys. I don't they think. didn't tell us about. They... They didn't tell us about Hajime and fucking... They didn't tell us yeah. about fucking AG. They didn't tell us about Hibiki until it was already a thing. We didn't... They, they aren't telling us about Kiva. We found out about Kiva from other places. No, I didn't... No, I no didn't they did tell us about Kiva. Never mind. They did tell us about Kiva. I'm a yeah, dumbass. That's, yeah, that's from Teller they didn't, they didn't tell us about Hatari dark, as Dark Drive. I do also well, wanted to point out... Well, that out doesn't show... That wouldn't show up in uh, Teller Yeah, mm. That's true. I do want to point out that I do like the choice for which character they were able to get back for Hibiki. Yeah. yeah. Or for uh, uh, Todoroki. Because like, with uh, Todoroki, yeah, because he has like the best arc in the show. 
And, but the thing is, that arc is in the second half. And then or, they're is, like, the... hey, none of you like Kyria, but here he is anyway, because you guys like Yuto. Kyria 2. <laughs> and thank you, XA, for finally giving us a better rider character named Kyria. <laughs> How dare you? How dare what do you mean, you? how dare you? How Alt, dare are you? you trying to say that Hibiki Kiria is a good character? I have Because seen even that. if that's the same actor as Yuto, he's not a good character. He's not well written at all. <laughs> he's correct. literally Poochie! Alt, are you defending <laughs> Poochie? I mean, I, he was. I mean, Alt, okay, Gio no, has some not good that ideas. Poochie. Not Poochie. Not, not Jojo Poochie. As in the dog. As oh, in, I, don't, I must I go now. Poochie. My planet needs me. Oh, no, Poochie. Alt. No. Hey, Poochie. Alt. What are you doing here? It looks Alt. like you have Poochie's something to not say. On screen. Everyone should be asking. It looks right? like you have something to say. Do you? No, I'm an Inoue character, so I'm never going to talk about things. Do? And so they didn't talk. <laughs> yeah. It's it's like he's Poochie, but they never got rid of him. They just let him ruin everything. Spare Poochie, man. Hey, you know how we have this character who's been built up and as becoming an Onai for the entire show? Should we let him become an Onai? Nah, scrap his suit so excuse we me. can make so we can make form better. Excuse me, excuse me, Oni. excuse me. What? Onai? Onai. Oni. 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 Whatever. I... You guys know I don't pronounce things good. No, but I mean, it's a Japanese word. It, that, that, and you also that, watch that, the Hibiki arc in Decade. Oni. And they say Oni. And see, you're Oni. pronouncing it just, just Oni. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> and I was like, for a second, it's like, is that how they pronounced it in Hibiki? No. I didn't watch Hibiki, so Oni. maybe he runs. Yeah, Oni. anyway, the, point yeah. Is, is they fucking. Yeah, yeah, fucking good pronunciation there, high and die. What? Anyway, we... anyway, I think we're done with writer news for this week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, today we're we it's none of us have none of us have seen Rio Soldier really ult except maybe ult. ult. I've I'm seen not, a fair I'm bit of it. I didn't catch uh, this week's yeah. episode. Uh, unfortunately. What do you think so far? Rio Soldier? Yeah. Oh, it's great still. It's still great. It's like it's still a good theme. I hope it's gonna save Sentai. The toys are still fun. You, and watching also... the Raws, you can see all of the pulleys like the Sentai. Please find the toys. <laughs> no, and the Please. fact is that I'm seeing toys for Ryu Soldier that they don't usually market, like the bubble guns. The thing is, where like this blue bubble gun with a thing, picture. The thing is, Lupin was actually pretty popular. It just the toys it's didn't the... sell good. Yeah. Like, yeah, there's been a poll terrible. recently on what's your top favorite uh, Sentai, and Lupat was, like, number two. Whoever the, number um, one. whoever's voting that Definitely. are clearly not the people fucking buying the toys. Yeah, yeah. it's like... The toys also, the suck. thing is, uh, also the thing is, a lot of times in the Japanese polls, the Japanese audience will often go for, like, the newer things. Uh, no, I don't think that's true because I've seen the fucking uh, writer polls and fucking Fies and Deno usually talk. Uh, no, those. no, I understand. No, no, I understand. It's just like that. That's a very common thing in a lot of Japanese yeah. polls. I guess, but like I don't know. Like I see the writer ones, and it's like, oh, the most popular are still Deno and Fies. Deno, I completely understand, but Fies is like, why? Why do you gotta have <laughs> high levels of? I really want to know why Fies is so popular in Japan. I girls. Kento Honda and his Kento Honda. They stand. like to see fucking in the the fuck it, because it's basically a J drama. Because it's slice of life. It's, it's a not. No, it's not even J a slice drama. of life. It's because it's just a J drama. It's like you could be like with high levels of misunderstanding. Yeah, it's more of a J drama. So a J -drama. Than drama. Season. Yeah. Fusaka, and, get the fuck out of and here. Anyway, then he got Xa being like the current like most popular Heise, Neo Heisei one. So yeah, because it's a medical drama. Even then, yeah. it's cool. I still miss the Hey Saber because I used to miss yeah, it. Hey say, hey say. It was the coolest, but then they're like, no, we gotta do it for the big Zeo face. No, but hey. I want I want like Roland Reigns' dumb sword tattoo, but it's Sogo's dumb swords or face sword. <laughs> His face sword on his face tattoo. Like, imagine just face. getting a goddamn sword The fact that that thing doesn't have any action. Just the rolling Reigns. It's, it, it is rolling Reigns with the dumb sword tattoo, right? No, it's, Bro it's, it's uh, it? Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, yeah, his stupid sword tattoo. 
Yeah. Which, but it's Zio's fucking dumb sword face. Yeah. Zio. Chip, I, 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 the thing is, they missed Zio a big opportunity. A they I'm missed a big opportunity to not have the face like interact with the Ziku driver in really any way. Oh god, but it would have been like so bad it would have hit him in the dick. It would have. Bad. There was that one really cool moment in the Agito arc where he like stabs the dude with the thing and then completes the fucking uh, oh sword. God. And it... So Wooly's, um, Wooly's making a get into fighting games for fucking Battle for the Grid. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it though. It's the, the, getting into fighting games is usually just it's basically fisticuffs. It's just fisticuffs, yeah. It's just fisticuffs, yeah, but yeah. it's also, like, the it's purpose like, of if, it if is kind of to... If fisticuffs were still alive, then yeah, he would. They would I fucking also, don't wish... Forget, I fucking it would be a scrub lord, so yeah. Call it, get out of fighting games when it's a scrub lord. Get out of fighting games, just go away. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Get that, out that's, of fighting That's writer games. news. Let's also not forget... I have shit I want to talk about, <laughs> because also... it's the reason I was up till 7 a.m. last night. Go ahead, then. Okay, I'll talk about so later. over the past two days, uh, there has been the Persona Super Live, and if anybody who knows me personally or has watched the podcast knows, I am a gigantic Persona fan. I am into I I have I the, the sad thing is that I haven't played one or two, but I I have played two. But uh, you don't have to play one. one. I played no, one I and two. Have, I don't have, have to no, the thing one. is, I want to. You do have to play one. Don't listen to Sano. I no, I, he, I here's the thing. I will say anything, nearly everything about that game is good. The gameplay, however, is the worst. But still, no, it just, no oh, you let you have to play. It is the, good jank. The thing you is, have I to still experience. Play it. No, I experience. no, I play good jank. That is just dread. I just, I just no, I want to listen to Sonic. I want to play the PSP version also. So that Do it. Yeah. Well, the PSP is the better version. Good it's music. Jank. Also, yes. No, it's days. good music. But again, again, that's Shoji Meguro. And but again, I also said. Anything that's not gameplay? Let yeah. him experience the jank. Yeah, I want to experience what? myself no. for partly. Yeah. Just, you stop insisting. Just, just let okay. him experience the okay. jank. Okay. Anyway, but again, I'm a gigantic Persona fan, and last, and I was up till 7 a.m. because yesterday they announced Perso what Persona, Persona 5 The Royal is, even though we already kind of knew, and I guessed it since day one. It's just an improved version of Persona 5, with new up uh, and highly improved version because apparently they're also changing story beats in it and fucking they're adding a new waifu which i guessed from day one i knew anybody who thought that was a femcy get out of my face it's 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 weird that she doesn't that her persona hasn't been shown and they're probably saving that for last for uh, also, for, but also name a female apparently. thief also uh, that she has know. also that she has red gloves while everyone else has different uh, colored gloves it's joker. because if you look at her design she's just joker yeah, exactly. So that's kind of weird. Uh, also, for anybody like wondering why her legs are exposed like that, yes, yeah, gymnast. We know. Gymnast. We don't want to get into it. Yeah, okay. gymnast ballerina. We're not getting into that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, at the Persona uh, Super Live, uh, they had a one after they finished the trailer for the Royal, they just had a uh, an actress who's dressed up as the new girl just do a gym a gymnast routine, a gymnastic routine. They didn't they have Featherman costumes at that? They had yeah, one featherman. This is Toku because at the the last song of the night, at least uh, the one last night, was the opening to uh, the Phoenix Sentai uh, Featherman R, and they had a Whoa. they had a cosplayer at they or they had an actor dressed up as uh, Featherman Red, and just like doing Toku poses and shit. And it was red. Like, and and then yeah, at the end of the thing, he takes off his helmet and it's just Akira. That's cool. Yeah. And, like, like, my and the thing is, he takes off the helmet, puts on the glasses, and then just walks off stage like he usually does, like with slouching and shit. You know, so, you know what's my favorite mo uh, favorite what? thing? What? Um, that new girl shares a VA with Aqua, so we can yeah, so we can call her a useless fan. Yeah, bully her. I'm we can also her. we can uh, also call her Vernage. Vernage, yeah. Hey, what's up, Vernage? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's up, Vernage? There's there's uh there is there's one there's another there's another new yeah. character they revealed. Uh they the, announced uh, the rose bait. Like completely <laughs> rose bait. bait. Uh, my, my bait. My bait. Yeah. Fuck you. A character who's a guidance counselor who shows up after Shiho fucking tries to kill herself. After which, the very first yeah, dungeon. Yeah, yeah okay. Okay, and the school fucking needs yeah, that. It's like, yeah, all the kids are probably shook. So we need to bring in a counselor ASAP so more kids don't fucking 
But our school himself. sucks. Yeah. Who else and we see again, we see a again. we see a scene in the trailer uh, of Anne talking to him, which is yeah. fucking good. Cause yeah, Anne kind of needs. Yeah, that. maybe you should talk to the counselor uh, about the fact that I'll your just, best friend. I also do himself. like to point out that Shujin is not a bad school. Shujin no. is not at all a bad school. The re it is later revealed why Joker is going to sh was accepted to Shujin when no other one was. But yeah. and it's because the principal's on fucking Sh Shido's payroll. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. it. So That's it. So it's like he was sent there to be kept an eye on. So them actually getting a counselor makes it like, yeah, oh yeah, uh, school ain't so bad. Yeah, it's just, school ain't so bad. It's just like, it's just what, yeah, some fucky I, shit. I don't think most Japanese high schools have counselors. Oof. But the exams, I don't. I think. I, feel like I think if they don't have them, they should fucking think, get them. I think they would probably be on the rise since, uh... Yeah. 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 Probably be your kids are, shit, hey, just to remind shit, you, your kids are probably gonna go home too heavy late. for this podcast. Yeah, so we won't talk about it. What I'm talking about is the goddamn Muso! Oh, no, hang on. What? Fuck you. There's one last thing that we have to talk about. There's we apparently don't, a don't. scene... We where, don't really where, don't need to where talk Wakaba about it. appears to be alive. We still oh, don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, but we still we don't want to talk about that because we know no information the, uh, besides that. It could even but, not be Wakaba. It could just be somebody uh, that looks a like lot, her. It, it, we're, a lot of people are assuming that human like, Mona. They they're talking. No, no. Yeah, a lot of people are assuming that they're talking about like you know dreams or whatever. Uh, and so they, it's possible that you know. Human Wakaba could be a part of that. Yeah. Also a part of that! Don't talk about it! Don't talk about it! We don't talk about it! We don't need to talk about that. Lady 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 Lady. You seem tired today. You should get some sleep. Shut up. I hate him. I hate him so much. I hate you know him. You know what, Zed? You're right. Maybe we should end the podcast and go to bed. Now I just have to imagine <laughs> fucking... I have to imagine goddamn twink fucking Morgana standing at the edge of my bed telling me to go to bed. Man, I, I don't know. I don't know, Zed. I think I think they're well, not gonna try and make Mona more fuck here and go to bed. You know, <laughs> they did. I mean, I, they did. All oh, they oh, tried oh, and they oh, failed. Oh, 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 he looks like on. a goddamn idiot. No, hold on. You guys are you guys are ignoring what he just said. Excuse me, Alt. More. More. Something... Did you want to fuck Mona before, Alt? I thought you, you want to fuck his fucking catsy. What do you mean more? This is the second blowout we've had this podcast and it's... Anyway, like I was saying... No! What do you mean anyway? No! Oh, that's a big surprise! Oh, do you want to fuck Morgana's cat pussy? No, I joked. No! I just... You fucks. You, you said it, Oh, well, You meant it. You meant it. Moving on! Already Moving on! on. Uh, We're done talking about... It. What does the S stand for? Uh, I forget the, I think, uh, it is Persona 5 Scramble. Persona 5 Scramble, the Phantom Strikers. The Phantom Strikers. It's a fucking Muso. Hey, tell me it's not a soccer game. It's Tecmo. It's fucking Persona Muso. It's Persona Muso, and it apparently is gonna have RPG elements. And it's also gonna have this new character that has, like, four hearts. So I'm gonna guess you gotta steal all the hearts, and I'm hoping they put fucking Persona 3 and 4 DLC. So, so my I can question, just play as like Akihiko. My question is: Is this gonna be better than Fire Emblem's Muso? Is this gonna be good? It's hard to say because on the other hand, we also have we also bad. have the Zelda Sometimes Muso. Sometimes the crossover which, Musos are, are, good, are good, like Zelda. Like, uh, Rule or, yeah, well, the Zelda yeah, but one then you get the bad Nintendo, ones like Fire Emblem. Uh, Nintendo care way, no way more well, about uh, Zelda than they do Fire Emblem. There have been quite a few of the fucking the uh, the Gundam ones, right? Yeah, mm, Gundam Muso. The thing is, those, those are Muso. those. The, some of those are good. Others, uh, uh, not uh, so much. I'm trying to think of other Musos there have been. I'll just get a list of Warriors games. Yeah, so let's just we'll, we'll uh, just talk the that, Ninja, uh, the one that, with the Namco stuff. So yes, uh, so we have two. Th those are the two big things. Uh... Uh, oh, the One Piece Pirate Warrior games are fantastic. Uh okay. The One Piece games. I didn't are know fantastic. One Piece had one. Uh... Yeah, One Piece has three actually. It's uh, it's whoever okay. probably uh, has uh, a, a representative. Ken's Rage, I hear, isn't great. 
I've also heard that Ken's Ken's Rage, Rage 2 is hilarious. Uh, the I think it's like whoever has. Berserk whoever right here has... is fine. Uh, I think okay. I, I, I think I know. I think I know what it is. The, the 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 you're talking about the recent one, right? Yeah, the Berserk uh, Musa. Yeah, I heard there's like weird shit with it though. Yeah. But like, depending on how, because Atlas is like, is like a weird place in between like. Because they're kind of like fucking Fire Emblem staff, or the Fire Emblem staff, and that they care a lot about the waifus. And, like, the fucking, especially. Well, not much the fucking. Because you can't have babies with the other girls. So, yeah. Not yet. Fuck awful. <laughs> uh, again, my biggest hope for this is that we just get uh, Persona 3 and 4 DLC so I can play as characters from those games in a Muso, because I want to play as Oculus. Can we have Persona 1 DLC? Uh, Never. Yes, okay. we do for joke. Uh, uh, I just realized I guess in a Mugiso game. <laughs> Machine gun hands. No, Not you don't understand. So Have you seen her her arsenal in goddamn Ultimax? It's no. raw. She gets fucking like missile launchers and fucking photon cannons. Is she just fucking Robo Fortune? Yeah, basically. Okay, basically, yeah, she gets everything. They basically the show, yeah, no, she gets Robo a Fortune giant ass pile bunker. I guess color. Yeah, she, she has does. multiple mini guns. She has multiple mini guns. Lot Briz let me, DLC. Let me, let me just get the picture of I guess is uh of uh, Ultimax art. Like the theme of uh Robo Fortune's color palettes in Skullgirls is literally just uh robot. Uh, memeable or memeable where robot. Names? Where are the names of the the new fucking? Let me. The, there it is. That's her art from Ultimax. That's uh, she, her arsenal's twenty times bigger than it was in four. Uh, and three. Okay, yeah. Uh, the new uh, uh we we kind of gla glossed over. Uh, the new party member is Kasumi Yoshizawa, and the new counselor guy is Takuto Maruki. Yeah, uh, they haven't revealed the girl's uh, arcana yet, I don't think. Uh, and uh, they, they have not revealed either of their arcana. Uh, oh, no, no, uh, they reveal, they, they no, revealed they revealed they revealed the counselor. He is la counselor. Uh, 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 yeah. Literally, uh, he's, yeah, he's the ultimate, counselor. He's, the, he's the an counselor. ultimate version of, of the, the magician. magician. Yeah. Yeah. From a different uh, I, I, an, an ultimate. Don't be a dachi too. Please don't. Uh, and uh, 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 other gameplay can, can we Okay, well, uh, can we get time on that for a sec? What? So we can redact that and say the culprit. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Fuck. I'll just, I'll okay, just, I'll you. just bleep it out. Wait, do that. you think people care about Persona Four spoilers now? Yeah, I don't. I think at this point he's also a I... fucking playable DLC character in Ultimax. Toradachi yeah, I think... is the the killer at the end of. Persona I just know 4. that some people are still going into it. I, just I know, it. but like, it's just. I think at this point, too like, bad. I've already said it very clearly into the like, microphone. Like, I don't know. There's been so much Persona Four media that it's kind of hard not to know who the it's, culprit is. It's, it's kind hard of hard to, to miss who um, the fuck it is. There's yeah. uh, there's a new uh. There's a new location. There's a uh, new location uh, in Japan. Uh, uh, there's, there, you can do uh, you can do fun group stuff now. Uh, yeah, there's uh, a lot the of text messages have images. Uh, dungeons uh, are completely you... revamped. Uh, with new music and new bosses and and, and new enemy types. So, uh, uh, new treasures and shit and like new that. New treasures. Uh, the uh. The like assist system of like before you would press the the select button on PS3 or the the touchpad on PS4 and it would give you like the menu of like stuff to uh stuff to and what every what what all other players had been doing uh yeah. with their days but they added like, more to they, that but they add more they've added more to that uh PS4 mm -hmm. Pro support obviously they added uh, basically an instant teleport to the hideout. Uh, the game time itself is extended where there is a, uh, Extra three months. A, 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 uh, you can now play from January to, March. uh, to March, uh, uh, it's probably also a, a big dungeon. thing is that I think it, it's implied is that in, in that menu, you could also see all, all the recommended activities you could do. So I feel like that'll be like just like, here's all the available things you can do. And here, and, and, and you know what that would be that, that would probably be like i hope that like you can open that and then you can like hover over the thing and select it and get instantly teleported there because there's a thing in persona 5 where if you like if somebody calls you up for something you can instantly teleport yeah. 
two there, and you don't have to pay the fucking uh, yeah. the fare. Like, obviously, it'd be a little broken if they removed the fare. Nasty crime boys, yeah. pay for your. But, uh, a big thing that I would it, how, with how much money you end up getting. Yeah, yeah but that's by the end like, of the game, but the early game is like. Cognitive uh, money. Uh, but, and in um, the harder difficulties, it is a bit difficult, uh, more difficult since you do get less money. Yes. Uh, uh, so... Actually, a big thing that uh, I thought is that uh, it should just show, because a big annoyance was like, oh, you go to a place, oh, this is closed for today. Ah, shit. I wasted my time coming here. But the cool thing is like, oh, it's, these are yeah, all the available it's... things you can do. Yeah, that's, that would be cool if it would show you what's closed and what isn't. Yeah. And big important thing, more date spots. More date spots. More the date one spots. they've revealed it's shown is an aquarium. Is For an aquarium. Oh, no. they, they, sh they showed off, uh, they showed off uh, you taking uh, Kasumi, the new girl, to the aquarium. Yeah. Uh, and and like I said, and like we said before, there's like group activity things where you can go yeah. fucking shoot play pool darts. or play darts. And the darts thing is apparently some. Uh, yeah, the darts is a. It is a. It is a. It is a. Uh, advertising campaign with darts alive because the darts are just apparently one to one to their actual dart boards. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So yes. Uh. You can hang the out game, the phantom thieves while you play some uh, darts. You know. Uh. They yeah, haven't revealed uh, what exactly the group dates do, but they said something special could happen. Uh. The uh the next set of information will be on uh, May ninth will be on May 9th. Uh, the game uh, release date is Halloween in Japan, yes. and uh, sometime in 2020 for the West. Yeah, we still don't know. And... Uh... Hey, Atlas, why? <laughs> Just... It's gonna come... You... No, Visual actually, actually, get... actually, 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 wait, they actually did release the uh, the release date for the West version. Uh, oh, yeah? You can see it. It's actually uh, winter 2014. What? <laughs> Fuck you! I know that. That's a fuck you. Do you know the Winter Tour 2014 meme, Soraku? No, I don't. Uh, the that was Winter when they said Persona 5, 5 was, was coming. Gonna come out. Oh. Yeah, they okay. said that the initial teaser trailer said Winter 2014, and then it came out in 2016. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. Fucking. And it was really just. It was going to be a PS3 exclusive. releases now. It yeah. is fucking ridiculous that they can't bring it out in the same yeah. year as... Especially, like, and also... Well, well, one thing is that I do hope they do a better translation with this. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Because that was one yeah. of the bad things with... And this time, maybe proofread? <laughs> maybe. Um, fucking, what? like... I just... I... Hmm... Um... I hope they do a good job. I do hope, I hope they yeah, fix the problems so. with. Pers I hope they fix the problems with Persona Five rather than create uh, new yeah, problems. create new problems. Yeah, yes. like again, I I, I see the new girl and I get worried. Maybe, but also the fact that we have a bunch more time also means that like all complaints about Haru where you got no yeah, time. Yeah, uh, but to be honest, uh, four also advertised you had more time. You didn't really have more time. Yeah, four was. More golden. Yeah, an extra month, and they added in two new S links. That yeah, well, this adds if you want extra... more stuff. Yeah, this brings in three new months, though. Yeah, that's fair. But how... With two, that's also fair. But what is happening in those other months? Yeah, again, we don't, we don't know. know exactly. Like, there could be a big event know, that basically a dungeon, eats up. That means it could possible. It could basically with... be a, an event that eats up all your time. That's the thing. I'm oh my about. god, I fucking hope they fix the fucking space palace. Oh, I. They seem like they did because they have that they, that thing in they, the trailer where you you jump on the. I know they UFO. they're showing that they've changed some of the palaces. I hope they fucking change them all for the better because some of them have a some big really thing. I hope shit. they don't say that it's right behind that door. Get rid of that line. Get, Get rid, rid of, of that, that because it's not. It's not right behind that door. It's beside like twenty doors, Morgana. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> you, should, you should go to bed. Shut up. <laughs> If I go, I'm ending this podcast right now. You don't even get to talk about it. No! 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 But I gotta go to bed because I'm tired. No! You just woke up! I did because I went to sleep at like. I went to sleep at 7 fucking a.m. Maybe I, you should have listened to Morgana and gone to bed earlier. I had to oh, listen. No. I had to be a Persona fan. I fucking hate being a Persona fan. <laughs> okay, so, uh. <laughs> All right, so that's that's, that's persona. That that's persona news. Now persona. we're going on to our weeks.
can I yeah, talk wait, about? Was that not your week? No, that because was, I had other shit like Sekiro. That had nothing to do. Because that had nothing to do with Toku on this Toku podcast. No, that was just other news. It, that no, that was just other news. It's fine. But I actually anyway, week, yeah. here's what I'm going to talk about, bitch. Hat and Time just announced a new fucking thing like a like couple just. hours ago. Yeah. Literally just. It's Nyakuza, like, right? N- uh, Nyaku... Nyaku... I'll just get it. Nyakuza. Nyakuza <laughs> Metro yeah. as the new as expansion. Cat. Yeah, Nya plus Yakuza. She has, the now, dumb, she has the dumb fucking cat face. Yeah, she has the dumb fucking cat face. She has a fucking bat instead of the umbrella, which means there's now an official second weapon in there, which Hatch. is interesting. There's ten new fucking timepieces, which is more than Seal the Deal had Ugh. outside of the hard mode stuff. Um, they're, they're probably gonna have a new boss fight because I can't imagine them doing that whole fucking thing without having you fight one of those Rose, fucking cats. Hat kid commit crime. Yeah, and, uh... hat kid committing crime, but also alt. Isn't, alt. Kind, of, isn't kind of the entire premise of fucking Cat and Time committing crimes? Kind of, but alt, alt, alt. You know what the real fucking big deal is? What the 50, pl- 50 players online. 50 player hat and time sessions. Uh, 50 hat kids. 50 of them. That's 50, 50 hats. 50 of them. Fucking 50 of them. Imagine doing those parade stages with 50 players. Imagine doing the, just everybody doing the fucking rave, the nobody's coming to help dance. It's good, yeah. They show that in the, in the trailer. It's great. I'm so excited for this expansion because Seal the Deal, even with the fact it was kind of light on content that wasn't hard mode, um, is still really good. And this looks to be even better, so I'm fucking really excited. I was going to talk about something else here. I was going to talk about some stupid shit, but fuck that. Hat and tie. Oh, also, if anybody's listening... Oh, wow, that is the most fucking best timing I put that on my wish list ever. Uh... Uh, a hat in time is fifty percent off right now. Oh shit! Yeah, go <gasps> buy it. I am going to buy it. Also, Aww. also, well, the funny thing, yesterday I put Okami HD on my wish list, and guess what's on sale right now? Okami HD. Yay! Guess what's what? What? Did I cut you, out? You cut out. Uh, Okami HD is on sale right now. Also. Nice. Also. Uh, okay. Also, if anybody cares, uh, the DMC, uh, DMC HD collection also. Oh shit! I need to get that because I've got four and five, but I don't have HD collection. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I was uh, the thing I was gonna talk. Yeah, I might as well bring it up since yeah. I did say it. Uh, I was looking right before this podcast started. I saw this fucking meme. I'm gonna repost it in podcast lobby so you can show it on yeah. stream. Uh, oh of, god, like, that fucking dude. Um, can we have Dante? <laughs> no, we have Dante at home. Dante at home, and then it's like this shitty fucking mobile looking dude. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Because that looks like it's just Nero. And just, so I looked up the image. It's Nante. And I found that his character name, he's Alucard. He's, his name is Alucard. He has, a, he uh, has the Devil Bringer. He's from, this, uh, he's a, from a mobile fucking legends. mobile MOBA called Mobile Legends in China. Of course and, it's Chinese. Of course it's Chinese. And, and his old costume is the one that just straight up is just a fusion of um, uh, Dante and Nero. That and re- his first his first skill icon is literally part of the DMC4 logo. logo. It is. It's literally just the thing. It's his the- new and... design is slightly less derivative, but is still but he's still it, it's like kind mm. of a little Virgil-y. Yeah. Uh, uh, his backstory is kind of like a mix, like someone had, someone read, like, Dante, Nero, and Dante's backstories and had a fever dream and then just wrote it down at the end, and it's just, it's the worst it's been. Apparently this company were actually sued by, the company made us were actually Capcom? sued by Riot Games? Of course, because, Riot, because, because it's League of Legends. It's and, just League of Legends. And a shocking turn of events for Chinese court cases of Chinese boss getting sued by the original creators. Riot won the suit. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah, this, well, we yeah, can't, well, this is just too, Riot, this is thing. too much, my dude. No, 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 it's not even that. It's that Riot, uh, Chinese company also. Tencent. Yeah. 
yeah. Yeah, Tencent. Yeah. Because it's like they have sway with the Chinese. That's I'm why. Gonna, I'm so going to read like, this. Yeah. I will read this. Alucard was born in the capital capital of the Empire. His parents were once mentors to Tigreal's Order of Knights in one of the Order's trials missions. Tigreal's overconfidence led to Alucard's parents sacrificing their life in order to save him from demons. Unable to, ex <laughs> unable to accept this harsh reality, Alucard went into the territory of the demons in order to search for his parents. All he found on the battle, however, was the family crest worn on his parents' chest. He was then suddenly ambushed by the demons, who captured and tortured him for months. He was eventually freed by a demon hunter. We don't know his name. After which he took up the refuge as a resident of the Temple of Light. Alucard's youth, full of tragedy... During his captivity, his mind was consumed with surviving moment to moment, and the rage within his heart was buried. Uh, though he he was humiliated countless times by his demon captors, he never gave up his desire for revenge. It was this desire that gave him strength to survive his months of imprisonment. Alucard became drawn to the abilities of the demon hunter who rescued him, Dante, unwilling to return to the Order of Imperial Knights, Order of the Sword, that him feel... <laughs> Feel nothing but sadness. He went with the demon hunter, Dante, to the Temple of, of Light. He trained there for multiple years, becoming an exceptional demon hunter, Nero. Himself, he spent his, no day, day. He spent no his day. days researching how to better hunt and kill demons. He works at Temple holding nothing, holding Holding nothing but the hate for demons. In his heart, he follows the three principles of the demons hunters. Independence from all organization and territories, no mercy for even a single demon, no last missions. Most mysterious about him are the demonic claws on his right hand. Nobody knows what they are or how they got there. Devil he just yelled, bring bring her. Her. He just yelled, Okay, Buster! You want the best fucking punchline to this whole thing? What is it? What is his it? His original name was literally Dante. Ah! They changed it soon after release because they even they were like they were like this is too, too much. We're, we're stealing it. We're, like, we we can't steal. no. we're hitting this right on the nose. This is hilarious. I love this. This is the I, worst it's been. China is amazing. It's kind of amazing how fucking flagrant it is. <clears throat> it's so fucking flagrant. It's anyway, the worst is there anything else? It's 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 one of those hilarious things. Just I've got like, nothing. Else. Like, okay. oh hey. All right, I'm up next. We don't have anything. Cause I am up next. I would like to talk about two games that I have been playing. I have been playing Sekiro: Shadows Die twice, and I started to play the Kingdom Hearts Critical Mode. Uh, Kingdom Hearts which Three Critical got, Mode, which, which just got, got added the other day. I got yeah, added day on when um, Tuesday night. Yeah, day before. Uh, Sekiro: Di Shadows Die twice is a hard game. It is fucking hard. Uh, I feel like it's a bit exaggerated in its difficulty, but it is hard. I have been enjoying it very well. Uh, I really like this uh, analogy that I've been giving it lately, is that it is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, but more intense. Because, like, the main way of defense is parrying, and you're doing Zandatsu shit, and you're samurai and their stealth. It feels like Revengeance on steroids. Well, without the uh, but without honestly without the hype platinum bullshit and uh uh Kingdom Hearts critical mode uh i have only finished one world well two if i count twilight town uh and so far it feels kind of tedious because you die in like two hits and if you die in a fight that's not like a a scripted fight if it's just like a fight in the overworld you will have to sit through a loading screen, which takes 30 minutes to a minute, or 30 seconds to a minute. And you just have to sit there and wait every single time you die. And then you have to do everything again, open all the chests that you opened, because they don't save on death, because fuck you. And it just feels, like, tedious. It, like, like, it doesn't feel tedious in that the combat, the, the fights don't last an hour or anything. It's just the death. If if the loading screens in Kingdom Hearts 3 were good, then this would be better. But they're not. So, yeah. And that's really my week. 
besides the I both my most of my the excitement on my week came from the Persona Super Live. So and I got to talk deftly about that. And yeah, I'll let it go to the next person. Uh can I actually go next? Because I actually have to leave right, uh, sure. go. right away. Uh go ahead. Uh I haven't really been doing much lately. Uh, I've just been getting uh, pre- helping my brother get pre- prepared for his wedding. Oh, uh, my younger nice. brothers. Oh, cool. Congrats. Uh, uh, but also, I re- I do have something. I had a cool uncle moment where I got I helped get my nephew his first uh, Pokemon game. Oh, that's great. Oh, nice. Uh, mm-hmm. I think you, it's let's it's let's go right. Yeah, he got, I got him a let's go Eevee. Yeah, oh, that's the right nice. choice. Give him a stuffed animal as well. Bought Eevee. him let's go let's go Eevee. So, uh, because, uh, he, 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 I wanted, he's, he's shown interest in Pokemon. Like he really likes Pikachu. And then like with the last time I was at my house, he was like, uh, you, you just had like this little car, uh, paper cutout of Eevee. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was That's just carrying everywhere with him. That's adorable. So, uh, he, I was just like, Hey, uh, if you ever wanted a, there are two new Pokemon games out, uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu, which one would you probably want? And he's like, uh, Eevee, and so I texted my brother, and it, apparently he thought that, uh, my brother was gonna ask me, my brother asked me to do it for him. Yeah. So immediately as my, when my brother came to pick him up, he goes, can we go to GameStop? <laughs> I want to get Pokemon Go Go Eevee. That's great, that's adorable. Uh-huh. My my niece Aww. just watched you watches YouTube poops and plays Splatoon. You need to get her into the cultured YouTube poops. Yeah, show her fresh pins. Yeah, she just watches the bad ones like Disney ones. You, no, no show Rose, her fresh Rose, Rose, you got she you got to understand to... fresh prince pins. No, yes, you, you need can. to no bro, no, you need to start fresh her off with the, with the well, you need to start her off with the early like getting into it. You need to start her off with the Dinner Blaster series. Dinner yes, blaster, please. fuck, man. Yeah, you guys have to teach me because I don't, I, I'm not a connoisseur of the YouTube poops. Oh yeah, we fucking will. And then you need to introduce her to the era of Stuart K. Riley. Oh god, no. <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, Tourette's guy. Yeah. No, no, Stuart K. Riley. He, he used to no, do no, a no, YouTube I, poop no, news. No, I, I know, but like. Oh yeah, Tourette's guy. I'm YouTube, just thinking yeah. like the the going through the arrows and shit. Yeah. The the uh, the era of nothing but spaghetti poops, spaghetti. where the only sound effect used, where the only sound effect was spaghetti, spaghetti. 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 That's great. Spaghetti. So, uh, Soraku ult, or is that all? Uh, I uh, I do uh, that is all for me. I right. will be getting off. Goodbye, Good night, Sonic. everybody. Goodbye, all right, Sonic. Uh, all right Soraku. Um. Uh, okay, so like a little while back, uh, uh fucking, I uh, we had like a brief little power outage, and so we have we had a brief little power outage, and something that happened. Uh, was that a Friday? Was, was your CPU fan, right? Yeah, the CPU fan just just busted and refused to work. Uh, it, it, it was intact, but it would not run. So I had yeah, to wait sorry. a couple days, and I couldn't play PC. Uh. Uh, games and uh, in that interim period, uh, I tried out and started playing Dead or Alive Six. Oh, nice. Uh, what do you think? Uh, Dead or it's fun. It, it, it I played Dead or Alive Five and that was fun. Uh, and I'm and I played the DOA Six uh beta test that they had and that was fun. And DOA Six proper feels quite fun and I. I knew that I knew that they had fixed the things with earning costumes. It's still a little bit Herculean for certain characters. It's more it's more that if the character has a lot of costumes, it's hard to earn the costumes. But if the character doesn't have a lot of costumes, it's far easier. Hmm. Uh, because what it does is when you complete an arcade run, a survival mode run, a time attack run, or any online matches, uh, or also uh, select uh, things in DOA quest, which very cool about DOA six core fighters. You can do DOA quest even if you don't have all the characters. That's it, cool. Like, yeah. Uh, uh, do you do you have access to practically everything in that game? In uh, uh, the the only things you can't do are obviously fucking play the characters you don't have. And, uh, 
and uh, and do the story mode, but you can do every other thing in that game. Uh, uh, and the and the characters it starts you with are give you a good like variety of style as well because the it, the character the the core the titular core fighters in DOA six core fighters are Kasumi, Diego, Bass, and Hitomi. So you know you get you good you know Shoto, Rushdown, Grappler, and fucking you know you you, you get a good you get a good selection of fighters yeah. just from those four. That's good. Uh, and uh, and the other characters you can buy individually for like four ninety nine, or you can buy them in uh, you can buy them in three groups. You can buy all of the characters for I think it's like I want to say like twenty or thirty. Uh, you can buy all the male characters, and you can, uh, all just all the male characters, and you can buy just all the female characters. Uh, and uh, And it's a very fun game. It, it I do hope I I I I do want to actually like, you know, get the game proper at some point later. Um and I do hope that they continue to provide good support for it. Uh <laughs> the no, I'm not going to be a, a a a wacko and buy the $90 season pass, but I feel like one thing that they could do that would make people stop freaking the motherfuck out about the ninety dollars season pass is if they released the uh, if they released like a separate like mini season pass that just has the characters in the season pass that would work. Uh, they they that that would work quite well. I feel. Um, also, additionally, something to point out. Uh, they're bringing. Uh, they're bringing back my Shiranui. They're also bringing another lady. Uh, they're bringing another character from KOF, from, uh, from KOF uh, as a crossover character. So wonder who that could be. God, I wish it was Darley. Anyway, but uh, yeah, is that all for you, Soraki? Um. Well, also what I did, and what you all did as well, was uh, the FF15 in 14 event started. Yeah, that was pretty neat. Yeah, it, it is. Was a fun, it, it, fun. It, it was it was a fun little uh, little jaunt with uh, Noctis. with Noctis, and you hung out with him, yeah. and you camped out. You you had a camping trip, and you watched him go fishing, and you took a selfie with him, which I don't can show you. All uh, the essential Noctis moments. Uh, fishing, camping, and selfie. Yeah. And you fight his version of Garuda. Yeah. It was an okay fight. It was a, a little bit wonky too with the fucking the warp strike thing. Yeah. yeah. But otherwise pretty good. Yeah. And the car is cool. And the car. We now have car and we now have fucking clothes. Uh and hair and music. So that's that's gonna be fun. Um uh and hair and music. Uh, and a triple triad card. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> actually, earlier I was uh, I was doing some because I just felt like I wanted to. Uh, and uh, and I asked for like an invite to a group, and like I got put into the group, and then the group found me on the map and just rolled up in the fucking regalia, and I just hopped in. <laughs> Yeah, that's I'm, we just start that is based. That is gonna the the car is gonna make fucking Eureka so much easier. Yeah, uh, the car is gonna to make all... Eureka so much better because you can just roll up and like you can just roll around in the fucking. Hey, you need car. a group there. Get in, loser. We're hunting notorious monsters. Hey, 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 bro. You have a group? No. You want to join ours? Yeah. Get the fuck the in. Fucking, okay, the fucking ex in. the experience. Of FF14 no. is improved by having a four man mount and having it just be a car <laughs> is way better. Just being blasting out of the radio forward. Actually, and back. Uh, if you for the, the podcast, I put in FF14 stuff here on the server. Uh, I put a picture of me and the fucking group that I was with. I'm the one in uh, the no, back behind that. the driver. Yeah, I did. In FF14. Yeah, stuff. in FF14 oh. stuff. Yeah, in the server. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my bad. Yeah, if you could put that on the screen. Is me in the back, uh, with the the brown and yellow, uh, with the brown and blonde hair. 
behind the driver. It's quite fun. And you have different poses for the different seats. Cool. And it plays like the little harmonica thing when you drive, and it's fun. So yeah, that was about all I had. That's, yeah. Uh, and last yeah. but not least, Alt. You have anything okay, to say? Okay, so my week was consisted of getting Dungeon, Gungeon, gungeon. and yeah, you've been having... having I, he entered the Gungeon. Um, having a grand, a grand old time, which is because it's a very good game, and uh, I put like 31 hours into it, and it's still such a fun thing. Cause I, and yeah, it's... I bought that recently too for Switch. Uh, it's it's a very fun game just to like just play it and get a few rounds in because like even if you're not like good. get it good you'll get good eventually and like I've been getting a lot of help from people who have played it and they've been they've been very helpful yeah. and they tell me about the synergies and everything and my best record is getting to the fourth floor but that's still kicking my ass but relatively fun game it's like it calls it hark it hits the point where basically I played a lot of those mouse point and shoot games and fucking Newgrounds and other um uh, flash games. And it's just, it hits that tick, and it's just, it, it, it's the gift that keeps on giving, and I got it from a friend who just sent me the code out of nowhere. It's like, shit, That's all of this content for free! Uh, anything else besides this gungeon? Um, well, there was an entire debacle involving uh, a certain indie JRPG. Oh, uh, we're not talking about that. We're, we're not going to talk about it, we're just going to just, it's yeek, and it's just me it's just coming to turn... It, it it went to yelling and it and it came down. We've to... talked about that before on the podcast where mm -hmm. had I uh, I I think Alt had like when he got into hating it before we yeah, all did. Yeah, maybe yeah. Yeah, I think I, we. I think this we is, did we, talk about I, it. I yeah. I got I I got onto the train of hating it, it like during, around February, but then everyone caught up and then it just yeah, now everyone else. It, yeah. it it came full circle in terms of how all of us uh how how the dev treated the medium and how it was just and because it, and I got, made that shitty ass quote. That's what brought it up again. It, it made a shitty ass quote, but then it got me thinking, and then we had and then I think off we uh, we had like a very good conversation that ultimately led up to you can make an un a, a, an asshole yeah. character his name's fucking Haseo from dot hack to you yeah Haseo like we had three examples that are like off the bat like Haseo uh, uh Johnny Travis, Cage Travis touchdown. and Travis touchdown those are the three characters that's like these characters are, these are assholes awesome they're but they're, but but they're like and one of them is like haha we laugh at him the other one like he he gets better the other one is like he's an asshole that's the but he's also a good dad yeah. he becomes a he's good like guy, yeah. And it became it come came to terms with it as as I as I start to cool off on it and it became just yeah it's very it's uh I'm gonna do something it's... crazy uh the guy the director I don't know I don't know his name and I don't care to know his name but if you're mm -hmm. listening to this the director of Yeek I'm calling you out man you suck you suck the game sucks you made a bad game. You may okay. The, the, all right. Now that we're it's, fucking talking about it, there's one thing no, that I want it. to point out. It's, it's, I'm, I'm gonna it's, say. I'm gonna just I'm say. Gonna I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna add my bit of it because it's still my week. Uh, just, okay, can I? Can I? Can I no, please, it's his week. No, let all do it first, please, before we okay. all start talking okay. over each other with okay. geek hate. Okay. It's a good game visually. It it just it it has a, little, a bit of problems mm. and the story itself. Dude, you gotta do your research. Like. This woman died. Was found out recently dead in like 2013, it's and you made a too, game man. based around this. And it's a up. good 90 percent to 20 percent of this all or the entirety of your game is not is very terribly dated because you talk about Lufia 2 and the thing where you didn't consider it within universe that it's 1999. No, he did. It again, I've said it multiple times, though, that apparently that in universe those games came out earlier. That doesn't make sense. That, that doesn't, doesn't make sense. I don't know. That That's doesn't make sense. Are, are you fall lazy? Are, is, is is he is did he ever establish that his world follows our world's logic or no? No, I I think he does establish that it's not the same logic. I it's that doesn't make sense cuz Postmodern is still not a good title thing. Yeah, it's terrible. I'm going to say that. But yeah, is, I really don't want to talk about it. Could have renamed it. Could have just, just called just, it Y2K. Well, okay, just, just please let me have just one yeah. last uh, thing. It really depends on what it is. It's just he meant he he talked about 
the 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 big infamous thing that made this all blow up. Okay, I know what you're talking about. No, we're not talking about podcast. this. I'm sorry, we're not talking about this. I'm putting my foot down as the host. Okay, fair. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. It. I'm not gonna touch that subject either. Yeah, we shouldn't get into Geek because yeah. uh, it is. Yeah, not I'm, I'm just gonna good. finish up. I'm just gonna finish up that. That yeah. was it, it. It just it it came into introspection. It became an example of what not to do for the yeah. future if I ever decide to do, go into it as well because I'm still young and nubile and trying new things. So describe yourself that, as nubile. Uh, I, I just chose that rod out of nowhere. And also I've been drawing a lot and it's been very fun. And uh, other than that, it's... Alt, cool. where can we find your art? Yeah, uh, I'll link it in alt, the, the description. Alt, alt 13th at uh, Twitter. Twitter, and you can also find my Instagram of the same variety, just old13, and and has, if you, you want to if you want to make it easier on there. yourself, just look for a medjed that's decayed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks for that'll, 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 that'll be all for the... Uh, uh, no, that won't. No, Why? that won't. Uh, Why? emails. Uh, let me check if we have any. Uh, so, if you have an email to send to us that doesn't regard the nature of what is or is not art, I guess. Uh, we uh, do not have any emails this week, no. We don't? What? No, no, no emails. Soto, what the fuck, dude? You meant to keep this um segment, like... Active. Uh, like, we still living. do have emails, but well, it's fine. I kind of, I am in a rush to kind of go, so... Yeah. Alright, mm -hmm. fine. Hungry. But uh, still, I'll Until say the thing, time. if you want to send us an email, you can send that email to... Uh, hypercastoffpodcast at gmail.com That's yeah. hypercastoffpodcast at gmail.com And your email will not sound anything like anything in this episode because no... we don't have any. Let me we refresh. Maybe Sota just sent something. because he heard Zed, uh, Zed ate the emails? I ate them Because he was uh, hungry. Maybe. I was very hungry. Send us an my... email. It will not sound like the inside of Zed's stomach. Sure. <laughs> don't bring up Vor into my podcast. Thank you we for won. listening. <laughs> Thank you for listening to our podcast. I hope you Goodbye. had fun. See you guys next time. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> Mario!